What's going on, everybody? We are live. Another Friday night, another kit. Nicole is in, she's in the other room joining us shortly. There's Peanut. He's doing pretty good. He's back. So, uh, tonight we're building a VS410 Ultra. This is the portal version of the VS410 platform. We're gonna, we built a Pro on the live feed, but we hadn't built an Ultra yet, so. That's where we're doing. But we'll be in shortly. There we go. There's our kit for the night. Again, thanks to everybody for joining in. I'll say all the hellos and I'll make Nicole catch up on all of the comments. The Ultra VS410 is the half cab version, which is, you know, what the Ultra and the Pro both are. Aluminum portal axles, all the good stuff. Oh, and we have, uh, we're installing a couple of upgrades at the same time. We're gonna put the 21% overdrive and the dig in this. Okay, hey, Richard. Oh, Peanut. He's been hanging out since I got home. Come on, come on, <laughs> move it or lose it, fatty. Aw, he'll be around. He'll be loud all night, I promise. Okay. So, and Nicole. They're not fixed. But yeah, I. See me, which I'm not super happy about, but I'm here. She is here. Let's see. This is going to be, we're not gonna do the body and stuff on this one, the wheels and tires tonight, because some of those items are getting changed out. Well, the body isn't. The body has to go to a painter though, obviously, before this makes its final trip. The, your mouse is over there and you can catch up on comments. Yeah, Peanut does a very much better job than me. Argentino. Sorry. Sorry for that. Argentino. Phoenix's chat still isn't working. I think Phoenix's stuff is broken. I think it's YouTube. That yeah. is the issue. YouTube? I've... Yeah, because it wasn't working the other night. I, you just have to get out of it and then come back in and it seems to work a little bit better. Yeah. It, I will Yeah, I will say that because YouTube has been, I've been having to refresh our page on our side even to get like the numbers to show up properly. And... Is this being built for someone? This is. Do you recommend replacing the stock bearings with fast eddy bearings? I mean, always. Sure. Um, you know, why not? Why not? We gotta look for the A bag, A bag, B bag. Don't. What? Oh. Don't do it. Don't do it. We have a little bit till we get there. Okay. Everybody checking in? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think if you get out of it, like I said, and then get back in, it seems to reboot. But like I said, that's for once, it's not our issue. Right. I apologize. Um, like Australia. Chat is frozen. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> that we have so little control over that side of it. Yeah. It's because this common speed is crash. How come you sell it with the worst tires and foams on the market? They're far from the worst. Actually, we're fine out here. Wherever you're at, you never know. And a stiff foam is still my preference. You guys who run super soft phones, that's 
it's at least a stiff inner foam at the very least. And you know, if we're a two stage foam would be nice, but it's like a whole nother more expense and everyone's got their own and they all want a different tire anyway. So okay. this is a black version of the kit. We will be doing a single, single camera feed this weekend because I sent Matt my other camera link it's because you can't find them right now. I didn't hear what you said. Well, since like we don't have our overhead camera this week. Oh. <clears throat> yes. Let's get all the, those comments out of the way. Sardine oil in the shocks. Yes. I'm using a Fataba radio. <laughs> Sardine oil, best shock oil. Uh, we have England, we have Finland. Welcome. Arizona. How do I get my truck built on a live stream? Buy a tr truck. And send it to you? Yes. Generally, that's how it works. Or I buy it and then, or, you know, I, I buy it and have it sent to me and then just finish it and send it off. Let's get an FC or F charger TV. One S two thumbs up and digs my VS four. <laughs> I'm always good for a cheesy joke. Yeah, I try, I read her all the dad jokes. Well, not all of them. I read her a small percentage of my favorite dad jokes, so she can roll her eyes at me. Josh, I want to ask if you have ever installed a sway bar on the front of a lawnmower. How to go? Uh, nope, I've never put. A sway bar in the front, always in the rear, but never put one in the front. Not saying it's not a reasonable setup. It's just not something that I've ever felt like I needed. $80 servo. Thank you. That was for, oh. for going through. <laughs> yeah. Power RC couple. Oh, no. Power, power couple in RC. That's. But I don't RC, so. Right. Ultra or pro? It's all, it's just a preference thing. It's just, do you want portals or don't you? Like that's, for me, I generally drive my pro, but it just. Oh, sorry. How did Matt's wife after? The oh, she was fine. She got a goose egg. But other than that, Matt's wife is doing, she was fine. We checked on her that night. And told him to keep her awake, turn flies, flying cars on, and keep her captivated. But Josh, how's your four hundred one k doing? Uh, wow, that's a new one. Constantly buy RC parts weekly. Well, let's be real. He works for Vanquish, so he gets quite a bit of them. Right. Yeah, our, the RC part thing doesn't. What's a four hundred one k? Right, that's a. It doesn't have to or not. It's not real money. It's YouTube money. Anything that I make on YouTube just stays in YouTube projects and tools and things like that. Yeah. You know. That's my hourly rate. Roof over your head. Uh, <laughs> kidding, kidding. Um, when will the dig for the VFD trans going to be available again? Uh, it's available right now. It's in stock today. Currently. Josh, can I just send you money so that way you buy the kit and when it gets sent back and my wife's ass, I'll say it's a gift from a buddy. Good idea. It was a giveaway. She does. Ooh, we'll we'll handle it. I we'll never believe that any of my husband's buddies would send him that kind of. No, care. we'll do it even better. We'll take care of it all on the backside. Then I'll just be building it live. And we'll be like, we're going to give this away to a random viewer. And the viewer, it, and you can just be watching it with her live. Like, like, I won. I won. You guys have money. We do not know. <laughs> <laughs> we have, uh, we have assets. Tell, yeah. These are what these are our assets. <laughs> California money is different money. It doesn't go anywhere here. It does. It does not to us. Oh yeah, or it goes away. It goes everywhere else. Oh man. Everything here, so expensive. 
How busy is Vanquish? Ordered a VS4, wondering when it will ship. Um, I mean, if you ordered today, then if it was in the earlier part of the day, then it would have shipped today, I would assume. You should have seen that. Um, but, you know, sometimes with uh, with kits, it's just if there's any confirmation that's needed, that's the only only thing. Oh, yeah, he trades axles. I bet. Yeah. That... I've let it, I've let her in on that secret, and no, that no longer works. Yeah. Sean Hayes wants to know what is a good RC for a beginner. I'm trying to figure out what to get my girlfriend for her birthday. Probably not an RC car. <laughs> that sounds like something I would do. What? I got you this RC car. But since your birthday's coming up in like three days, I should get you an RC car quickly. I'm good. No, you don't. No. I, well, I don't want to ruin the surprise, so. Good. Oh, no. Your birthday's on Tuesday. Is it? It is. is it? Where's my mouse? Oh, I don't like this. I sounded like my mom right there. Um, Josh is, he's, yeah. Um, Nicole, when are the Friday night stream donations finally going towards your new car? Towards your new car, your new gladiator. Oh, yeah. I'll get a new gladiator that I can watch pull in the driveway when he gets home. I mean, you can't see it from the inside, so it's usually best if it's from, yeah. If I get a gladiator, she gets the other Jeep. That's the, and then she doesn't have to drive the soul sucker. Fine. Um. What do you think about running LCG setup in the VS410? Droop shocks. What's a droop shock? It's basically when you when you're driving around and the shocks don't they're not extended, they're collapsed. So that's like all the way down, which does, it keeps everything lower. So in the in theory it works, but I don't like it just because I like to drive with a little bit more speed. So if you try and drive with a droop setup and you drive with a little bit of speed, then you don't, your shocks don't have anywhere to go anytime they hit a bump. So they want to buck the whole chassis. So I don't, I don't like it. I would rather, I don't like to run any car in droop. So it's just not, not a setup that I um, want to run. So no, don't. Thank you. Thank you for the happy birthday. When will bronze one nine machetes be available? Probably next week. Don't say that. It's... When will they? But you knew exactly what it meant? Yeah. Right. Thanks a lot, Josh. Now I'm getting emails from Tower Hobbies showing I'd like the RCA B3.2E from Flying Cars. <laughs> yes. That's perfect. I'm sure they're probably, like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like, get these out of here. I think they're a good car. I don't know anything about them, but I figure if they're a team-associated race buggy, they're probably nice. How about I bring you my pro kit and you build it? I already built a pro kit. If you don't have to buy another one, shh. Yes. Tower Hobbies Maybe says in a little the bit. clear dig is discontinued. Mm, that's not correct. No dig is discontinued. Go to Vanquish's website. Yeah, that's... That would be incorrect. Oh. What? Um. No, I missed it. Oh, Harry Miller said his daughter Sydney turned seven on Monday. Well, happy early birthday. June first, June second. Yeah. The dual rider is not a car; it's a trike. So problem solved. <laughs> would, I would like to have a, another big wheel yes a drifting big wheel necessarily think it needs to drift you don't want one of the drifting ones i just you know how much more fun you would have like that sliding around yeah but what with a motor oh yeah if it had a motor okay. with a motor yeah if we get another one it'll be with a motor i thought you made our other one i did make our other one. hairs falling down <laughs> it is josh buy her the lit robot litter the litter robot box for her birthday she doesn't really want that yeah, I 
I do. I just I keep I just have a problem buying expensive things. Hey from Omaha. Omaha. I was looking at the end. Near my hometown. Junior. Oh, sorry, we didn't we completely skipped uh the entry level what he's gonna get his girlfriend. <laughs> we were trying to save your relationship. But but Yeah, by not buying an RC car. I mean a yet like the Yeti Junior side, the, you know, one eighteenth or smaller scale stuff would limit your investment so that when she doesn't like it, you're not out as much money. But otherwise, um, maybe see if you can get a deal on like an SCX ten two Deadbolt. You know, something that's still a good car, but it's a generation older. So maybe you can find maybe you can find them for two twenty five or something like that. See if someone has them on sale. I'm not sure if that's a thing or not. Trash bod. Trash bod. I think that for my birthday, I would like a 3D printer to go in the garage. Oh, that's uh, a temperature thing. And that just. <laughs> I'm going to actually, I'm going to buy these new drivers for it that make it quiet. That'd be nice. Yes. I'm going to, I'm going to buy that for you. For your birthday, you get TMC 2209 drivers. You are so excited right now. Are there plans to make any dual shock link mounts for the bomber? Couldn't find them online or locally. Uh, yes. So there was a period of time where those were out of production. Uh, uh, your they will be back. Omaha guy says they're starting a riot on 72nd and Dodge. That sounds about like the riot location. The old Crossroads Mall area. I don't. I... No, you don't know it at all. I know. I'm just... Just speaking to my knowledge of Omaha. Cool. I used to spend a lot of time near 72nd and Dodge. For because school was near there. Yeah. Col some college. Sell the Jeep again. No, I don't want to sell the Jeep. No, what? We're keeping the Jeep. Do you recommend the dig? I hope so. Yes. I got my Always yes on a dig. Which biggest RC pet peeve that people do to their RC? Which I don't love questions like that because people do them and then it hurts their feelings no. when you say but, that because... But I'm still going to tell you. Josh, I'll be getting a it's, sound kit for my unicorn. How would I mount it? My biggest pet peeve is when people get sound kits for their RC kit. For their unicorn? Yeah. But only if it's me going... Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, my biggest pet peeve is when people paint plastic cages because they always look bad after one drive. But I don't feel the same way on a painted metal cage. Don't have anything to say about painting. I don't paint things often. Right, so. I can judge. The knowledge of Omaha's, uh-oh. What'd you do? I don't know. I don't think you killed the stream. That's fine. Hold on. We just can't see if you did or not. Hold on. <laughs> You're fine. Okay. You didn't you didn't break anything. Are you sure. Loading. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. Uh, uh, sorry. I, mean, I got really excited about that. Okay. Yeah, you, knowledge of Omaha is like being a typewriter repair knowledge. <laughs> Don't knock on Omaha. Like these are the cows. Here's the corn. I like Omaha. I love it. I still like Omaha. Not if you know how to paint them. You can adhesion and use your, See? your fusion paint and all that. And they just never look good. I you just don't like them. Maybe they do. I've seen them. I've seen them. Oh, hi, buddy. All right. What's it doing? We got the front axle, the third member dropped in, the axle shafts in. Next, we're building our portal boxes. Yay. Talk amongst yourself. I got my hair grammy for you to look it up. Okay. Couple of couple of portals. We'll go over. Most people by now know what a portal is, but to fill time until Nicole gets back, this is the portion that's actually considered the portal. 
which goes on the outside of the axle. And this is actually this side, but doesn't matter. So it goes on the outside of the axle and then the normal axle shaft where a normal axle would drive from goes into the portal box. And then the portal box has two gears and then it outputs it lower. So it gives you that much lift. In this case, 13 millimeters. What's that in inches? That's just over a half of an inch, but just barely. There's 25.4 millimeters in an inch. No. Okay. All right. And bearings. <laughs> what are you doing? Can you set up a voice recording file of Nicole's RC noises? We could insert that to our noise boxes to get accurate engine noises when we're out drawing. Very accurate. I'm just gonna I'm gonna put them in my videos now. Just you you in there. That's what it sounds like. I have a humming coming from my high tech six forty five MG on my VS four ten did not sure why no bind. Oh there it is. I think um, you need a larger knife, is what someone said. I need a large yeah, that's well that's just my EDC as they say. I don't know if that everyday carry. I was trying to find the right bearing, but I didn't. I, then I realized that you had two sleeves of 5 by 11 Yeah, so I didn't have to dump them all out in there. All right. Aren't you thoughtful? Hurts my fingers. Okay, we have two legit questions about your preferred shock weight for incision 90 millimeter shocks. Just got a set and 30 weight seems way too light. Yes, I run uh, 90 weight in mine. So, indeed, quite a bit heavier than what you're. I always thought sound kits never sound right. Like they have engine sounds from a PlayStation one game. Yeah. They're very low bit, like, you know, eight bit. Josh, I have a CX 10 two with Traxxas big bore shocks and low C springs. I run the stock 30 weight in them. They droop really bad. How can I get rid of that droop? The droop is coming from your springs, not from the oil weight. Oil will can, We'll figure out how fast it's going to droop down, but your springs are what you need to adjust. You can put some preload in them if you want, but that's where your the droop comes from. Whoa. Just about done with my VS410 Pro kit and put a super shafty servo motor cover in it. It looks awesome. Super shifty. Sir. Oh, oh, that's the uh, scale by Mr. Comma D cover, which I have right over there. I'll show what that is for those that don't know what he's talking about. Super shafty sells some of them. He carries them, but it comes from a, a gentleman named Dion in Canada. Neon Dion. Hey, Josh, I have the same problem. It's this old guy. And it just, it covers up the, the servo and the servo winch area. So it just goes in the front of the chassis. Kind of cool. Um, I w was wondering what your thoughts were on shelf queens and all your builds, or all your builds purpose built and driven. Yeah. I don't build anything as a shelf queen, but things turn into that Ugh. when I just don't drive them. It's not because. You don't need them anymore. Then you should sell them and get rid of them. You don't need toys you don't play with. Take them to the donation box. You know what I mean? I mean, that's generally what happens is that, I mean, I don't just usually keep them forever. I don't keep anything for that long, really. So. Where? Um, is Vanquish ever going to bring back the 2-2 method beadlock wheels? Uh, I mean, right now there's just no 2.2s in production, so someday maybe, but right now 1.9, just trying to keep up with 1.9 is the priority. Okay. Um, Craig Banks says, let's talk belly draggers. Okay. What about them? This one is a belly dragger. Oh. <laughs> Um, is your ripper a shelf queen? 
No, it gets it gets abused. It's not what it's made for. Yes. Just jellish. It gets a it gets abused more than a lot of people would think is appropriate. They would say it's being, you know, reckless or or you know, just like beating something up for no reason. Why do you do that? What chassis is under the yellow defender? The that is uh whatever that that's a that truck stock. That's an RC four wheel drive something. I think it's the Galande. It's the four linked and coil overed one, not leaf sprung. That you had to have at their garage sale that we went to. Yeah. Okay. It's for sale if you'd like to buy it during this feed. Everything's for sale. Um, you want to get down? I was going to say, that's about as long as he ever just I know. sits like this. The other food. Oh. He's supposed to have new food since he was sick and he does not like it. He wants the old food. Okay. I meant Vanquish Dig High Tech 645 MG Humming. Oh. Um, 645 is a, it's a pretty, I mean, it should do the trick, but it's hard to say. I mean, with that's one of those ones that you just you have to see it, that, you know, you have to double check that it's not reaching an end point or that nothing's taxing it to the point where it is making that humming that's i could only tell you those type of things like without actually seeing whoops i dropped it how much for the soul sucker make an offer <laughs> it's a nice 2016 accord sport it's the sport model she drives it in sport mode. I, I do. Only. What wheel tire combo would you suggest for a mall crawler? What's a mall crawler? A mall crawler? Like a bro dozer? You know, it's like, it's a mall crawler look stretched, uh, 1.9 stretched over 2.2s, probably about as good as you're going to get. Beyond that, I won't condone such a look. No, I'm kidding. I mean, I like that. I actually prefer like the bro dozer look over a mall crawler. I thought you just said they're the same. They're kind of the same thing, but they're different. Mall crawler still tries to look like it's going to go off road, even though it's usually not. Where bro dozer is just that. It's just to look. Like, I actually kind of like a Jeep on like 22s or 24s on maybe just an all train. 35s on 22s. I'm, I like it. Sacrilege, I know, but still. This is a soul sucker faster than the Firebird was? <laughs> yes, most definitely. It is. It has the same amount of horsepower, probably. Or more. Promise it's faster. Friday Night Live build with Trash Mouth and Ranger Hater. <laughs> is that Evan? <laughs> no. Evan Bird. Um... Thinking of buying a Futaba radio, which would be better for PM or for PV? Uh, the 4PV is basically just, oh, I forgot to put that in. The 4PV is, sorry, 4PM is basically just the replacement for the 4PV. So I would suggest getting the 4PM um, just because it's newer and it's a little bit more efficient on battery, things like that. It only takes three batteries rather than four. Gets a little bit better, you know, run time out of it, as, as you would say. So that would be the, my reasoning to tell you that route. Beyond that, most of the features on the inside are pretty much the same. We got grease back in today. So did we. Well, I mean, we have it in, but still, I'll allow it. Lots of it. Yeah. You didn't have a V6 fire, but I did. She did have a V6 fire. I did. And she wants to talk bad about a 
Honda. I didn't, I mean. Where's a good place to buy the tiny screws in bulk needed in RC crawlers? Um, K and K hardware has good they're they're really right now probably the best place to go to get bulk, like little bulk screw kits. Get the monster bag, which is I don't know how much it is, but it's got an assortment of all the different lengths. So Or what about McMaster's? McMaster's way more expensive. Oh. Um, what color's the underglow? On the <laughs> Um, how much NOS you got under the hood? That would no, still wouldn't make it fun. You don't think so? No, it's a fucking four door. Sorry, freaking four door. So is the Jeep. That the Jeep has five horsepower as well. So it does. That's true. Okay. Let's see. Thank you for answering my question. I don't usually buy cheap servos like the 645, but for the dig doesn't take much. It doesn't, but that's, and that's, that's why that would, that should be enough servo for the dig. Um, and that's why it's like one of those situations where feel like I need to see it to really be able to give you good information. What's the difference between inside spring shocks and outside spring shocks? Um, I, people who keep doing the inside spring shock thing, it's like a really old method of, of doing a lot of things right now. It's like, They'll see somebody do it on YouTube and it's just like, oh, look. And it's really, it's just like, well, it's something that we used to do and we just don't do as much anymore. Like putting a spring on the inside is to try and, you know, keep the shock closed normally for a, a droop setup. It's still not something I like to use, but it's a, it's a method that some people do. But, you know, when you do that, it also takes up travel inside of your shock where you have all kinds of room to put it on the outside where it should go and run the shock the normal way. But there's all kinds of different suspension setups and everyone's got their their uh, preference or why they think their way is better. I'm no different. I <laughs> have a way that I think is better. Obviously. And it's not that. But. Use the Honda for the next flip that truck series. <laughs> hey, Josh. Been away for a year or so. I was wondering if the Ripper y'all makes can still be bought. No, it cannot. Not unless you find one to use. Watched three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri the other night. First movie in years. That, was, that was, wasn't bad. It's was okay. Wasn't that a, was it a movie or a series? That was a movie. Was it? I remember. We watched it. Yeah. Wasn't bad. I mean, it was a dark movie, like. Yeah. But did he say first movie in years? That's that's the more interesting statement. Mm -hmm. And then that was the choice. Yeah. That was a heavy one to jump back into. Yeah, I mean. Um Let's see. Dang it. If you could add any new feature to RC Rock Crawlers, what would it be? Um, accurate cutting brakes, which is a super popular, powerful tool in full-size comp crawling. But to do it well in an RC is one of those things that's like a Traxxas has a selectable locker, which is a pop or is a important part of being able to have cutting breaks, but for it to be useful, it would need to be super quick, super reliable on the fly, being able to go on and out 
they're in and out. And it's, it's one of those things like in the full size world, you use an air locker to do that. So you can do it quickly, but it would be awesome to have that feature. But at the same time, I don't know that it's super feasible in RC without some real limitation in hurdles jumped through. Yeah, you're the man to talk to. Do you like dig and do they use mini servos or full size? Uh, I love to use dig. I use it on most of my trail rigs. It, a lot of people think that it's for comp only and I, I find that to be a- What's a dig do? Disengages the rear axle and will allow you to lock it. It's super useful in climbing and turning and- It's in that, there's something, what? I thought that was just something that we fed in comp crawling. That it was made popular and I mean, yeah. that's where- Dig, dig, dig. Dig, 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 dig. I mean, it's in a comp crawl, if you don't have dig, you, you, you don't have a chance. And if you're going up against people that do have a dig, but. Josh, were you into RCs when you lived in Nebraska? If so, where did you crawl? I work in <laughs> Um, I was, but it was very hard to be into crawling because it's hard to find places to crawl. Um, yeah, I mean. God, I can't even remember. It was mainly trail riding just because there is so little. Like I used to go at a couple places in uh, Bellevue that are popular mountain bike locations. And there's a 402 RC club that's pretty good size now. Whenever I go to, whenever I go back and I see like the guys at Hobbytown, they've talked about it and kind of talked about how big their, their group is, has gotten at Hobby Town, Hobby Plex. So find those guys on Facebook. What? Um. Okay. I'm missing some, but. This is like Josh, have you ever run your rear shocks on the chassis and not in the shock tower? I, you must you must be talking about when like people lay them way down. Why is what? That's flagged. I live in Colorado. Rocky Mountains is flagged. I don't know why that would possibly be flagged. Like um I think you must be talking about when people like lay them way down and that I don't prefer that setup either when when you lay a shock way down you'll get with like a falling rate suspension where the the shock is very ineffective the more and more the travel goes as that shock gets further and further laid down there's no torque because there's you know torques of there's a vector there's a x and a y when you have a shock at a 45 degree angle it's equal throughout the whole stroke but as it goes you know your axle is getting pushed straight up so as that force vector goes up and your shocks like this, there's almost no force component in that direction. So your shock's almost useless. So that's why you want to keep it at a reasonable angle. You know, straight vertical is the most effective at controlling the, the axle, but it has the shortest amount of stroke. So if you give it a little bit of an angle, you get more travel and you keep the shock pretty effective. Okay. There you go. I'm surprised you let me talk that long. I was just trying to get it out before you cut me off. That was not like, nah, Okay, I'm done. <laughs> um, Hobbyplex is pretty dope. I was there today. Alex built some new stuff. Fro boy. That's uh, that's his internet name. Wow. Josh, if you buy the Tamaya kit, I'll buy a Honda body and paint it like yours. Then you can race them and film that for a video. Which one's faster? <laughs> you wouldn't. I would not let myself be seen on video in that. That's out there forever. <laughs> this stream is trash. We have a winner. What size servo does the VFD Hertz Dig use? Uh, standard. Standard size, one tenth scale servo. We need to do this stream, but better. 
is the ultra a better rig than the pro wait first fraction rc said by the way click the thumbs up guys if you've watched this for more than 30 seconds this is free entertainment thank you fraction rc yes thank you is the ultra a better rig than the pro um it's not a better rig it's they're very similar in a lot of ways there's some differences between the two trucks uh, the major difference is portals some people want portals some people don't uh, most of the time i i prefer a straight axle versus a portal axle so then the pro is a better choice for me and also if the uh Sorry, that was the first thing. There's some other things that are different between that are different between them. Like the Pro has machined gears in the transmission, where the the Ultra has centered gears, and the Ultra has a molded motor plate rather than the machined one in the Pro. So, a couple little things like that, but it the major difference is: do you want portals or do you not want portals? Big J Martin says, my local hobby shop has the VS410 Origin Black Edition. Should I get that? I've been thinking about it recently. The Origin, the original Origin Black was, it was, you know, our one of our first trucks, the regular Origin Limited and the Limited Black. But the Ultra or the Pro are really better trucks. The, the Origin Limited or the Limited Black they were more expensive because of so much stuff that was machined where, and it had the, the previous three gear transmission, which is a fine transmission, but the VFD that comes in the pro or the ultra is so much nicer. How do I buy this truck? This one can't be bought. Why? Whose is it? This is for a gentleman named Rob in Montana. Oh, fun. I want to go to Montana. Right? Yeah. Um, I have a one nine Wraith wanting to use it when I jog on my local trails. So you're definitely asking the wrong people, first of all. Jo yeah, the jogging part. Right? Yeah. Local what, trails, yeah, jogging. What would be a, a good motor KV? I've got stock gearing and 475 tires. I can re-gear if I need to also. I mean, you don't need... A you almost can't go too wrong. As long as you go like 2,300 milliamp or 2,300 kV to 3,000 kV range, that's, pr well, I, I guess I don't know how fast a jog is. <laughs> Ask me, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a jogger. <laughs> so, but. Like if you see me running, something is wrong. So. You should, like. I, but you should be able to go 2,300 to 2,700 kV, run it on 3S. And I, I imagine that it's faster than most people jog. Um, you need to ask Brad Perry. Yeah. Brad Perry is the one to ask about that. <laughs> All funds from YouTube goes to the queen when she is on air, right? It's, it's, Are you talking about him? It's Oh, oh wow. It all goes, everything from tonight goes to her birthday present. <laughs> You've literally never bought me a birthday present. Haven't I ever? No. Never got you a birthday present? I definitely not yet. We're not present people. No, we're not. I don't just not do it. We're just not present mm -hmm. people. I mean, yeah. I kind of just don't do it. Yeah, even if you, we if did, I... you wouldn't. <laughs> Let's see. What? Hi. I told you he's noisy today. He is. Why don't you guys have kids? Um, it's the decision we had made. We had. Uh, <laughs> we we both were of the same opinion. Don't. We were of the same opinion when we met, and for life. That was a that was a one of those decisions that was just, don't. just a, a a life decision we both had made before we started dating. Yeah. We love them. Yes. The mat signal went off, apparently. Oh. Uh, oh, other people know about this. Know about what? They're jogging. Oh, that's good. Stabby Josh says hello. 
Road trip to deliver it? Question mark. Yeah. All right. Or about do. Yes. Jeremiah Salberg says he is 32 miles from Minneapolis. Three buildings burned down. One was a police station. Well, we'll probably try and stay away from yeah. the, the unrest topic tonight. I keep it Josh light and RC. Said he's asking because he's debating between a pro and an ultra. That's that's a debate that you're going to have to decide in your head. Go for a jog and clear your mind. Um, it really is just a a choice that you need to decide what you would like better. Beyond that, the, the trucks are going to be very, very similar. Oh. Dale C gave us $5. Thank you very much. Birthday Thanks, money Dad. for the librarian. SS upgrades are kitty toys. <laughs> Thank you. Up for adoption, if you're wondering. I just require a $2,000 week allowance. <laughs> <laughs> be taking out loans for you. <laughs> what size 32 pitch spur and motor for Wraith slash SCX? Um, well, those, oh, I guess S, it could be Wraith 1.9. Um, well, the stock gearing in these things right now is pretty good. You don't really need to adjust the gearing in most cars right now. Like it used to be a thing you had to do on the old 2.2 Wraith because it was geared so terribly. Right now, the only thing that comes with terrible gearing is the Capra. Beyond that, you don't really need to change much. Everything comes 32 pitch. Everything comes at a pretty good ratio. Just run it stock. If you want a little bit more speed, go to a little bit of bigger pinion and watch your temperatures on your motor. Okay. Yes, Matt is here, and we are very glad to hear that Rebecca is okay. That yes. Was scary. That is scary. Um, and lots of comments on your facial hair. Yeah, I am currently beardless. Oh, it's kind of beardless. Yeah, I like it like this. It'll be it'll be back. It's in the process. I think that we're probably not gonna do a mustache again. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> um yeah that was weird yeah she didn't like it which was mainly the reason why i kept it for a week i mean i thought i'd come out of it and she just looked at me ah if you want to look like a weirdo then you can look like a weirdo i got so used to it so quickly it's kind of scared me. I'm like this is just normal i mean whatever this is just how i look Yeah, I'm I'm good with it not not being there. This is not updating. Uh just refresh the whole page, hit that little thing. That the, the little wheel. There you go. Hold on. Good thing that doesn't go away. Uh. What happened to outside the window guy? I haven't heard from him in a while. T Shack? I don't know. <laughs> um, what would you, how about scale traffic questions? How about no? What would you gear a capra? Uh I would change the entire transmission out first. And try and get the overall ratio to like forty five to one to start. Good morning from Scotland. Do you think Curry will ever do axles for the TRX4? Kurt, do you think Vanquish will ever do Curry axles for the TRX4 maybe? Um, I don't know. Right now, no. But okay. you never know. Future is all in. You never know. But right now, no. She's up there eating his food now. Still <laughs> We have one cat that doesn't like his new food and the other cat that will eat literally anything. Yes, she is a fatty. The I'm looking forward to actually and we're going to build the transmission here. Well, in just a few minutes, actually. 
and we're going to install the dig and the 21 percent overdrive that'll be a fun addition to tonight's build once we get to the the chassis and well even the transmission i'm probably going to switch to a power driver to make sure we get through this but i don't want to build the axles with the power driver I'd rather build them by hand Nicole, you're missing important ones. We had a donation that I can't see. It's because it's a big... Well, no, it's just big and bright colored. You're fine. Hold on, I have a mouthful of food. Okay. Oh, Steve Finley gave us twenty dollars. Thank you. Thank you. What is Can it? you show me the rear axle flip this week, please? You don't have a oh you didn't have a chance last week. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks, bye. Can you show me the rear axle flip? I wonder if he means the my flip portal from the other truck. And if so, yes. Yes, I can. Um, Will you grab me the orange Jeep? Uh, that one? The white wheels? That one? Or that one? The Jeep. That one? Yeah. This one? Yes. I have water in my hand. Busy. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah. So this is my class class two build, and it has a uh, straight regular straight axle front which would be like the pro, but this is a D44 axle versus a regular, well, obviously this is an F9, but, so it would be a, or that's a portal. It's just a regular straight axle like that, but then the rear is a portal. And it, I did a video kind of explaining this whole thing, but for me, I had to take the third member that we just bolted in here and I had to flip it, which meant you have to cut the ears off of the, the link mounting spots and all that. And it turns it into a low pinion, which isn't that big of a problem. You can see the drive shaft is still about at the level of the links, but not too terribly in the way. And then you just, you have a lot of gearing things to, to battle. I did the overdrive gears in the portal boxes in the rear and an overdrive ring and pinion set. So, and that got me close enough to a, a solid number for my overdrive percentage. Okay. I assume that's what you meant. Sure. But I do have a video detailing that. Josh, would you, you said portal, yes. Oh, good. Then I probably did. I probably explained it. It's almost June. When is the new kitty be coming home? Should be like. Pretty soon, like next week, maybe. Yeah. See if she emailed me. Right. Oh. What? That's weird. <gasps> uh. What? Okay. She emailed me this morning. Your baby is ready to go. Just let me know when we will be getting her to you. Thanks, Carol. Okay. She makes it real. He's coming. I like how our friends just had oh. twin children. Yeah, exactly. Right. My coach was like. Oh, I'm nervous about a this kitten. I'm like, oh, it's it's gonna be it. It's gonna be so much work, and I'm worried about it getting into. But you like you do any work ever uh, for anything outside of this room? All right. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. 
What kind of deal, bitch? It's fine. It's just maple leaves. Maple leaves, it's all about Tim Hortons. So glad. Oh, wish we had Tim Hortons here. We did like Tim Hortons. Yeah. Can kitties fly in the middle seat? <laughs> Um, he was asking about the portal, but I meant the link mount specifically. Oh, got ya. That is a difficult one to show. I agree. The one thing is, is that I do need to put one back under my pro. And I've got the parts here to do that. So I need to cover that again. He's fine. I know, I just don't want to be here, so. Yeah, just. Mm. Uh. Just drive out. We'll do some drinks and crawling. That's from Phoenix. We thought about it. Right. We did think about driving out. But, and if it wasn't on like the complete far side of the state, it would be somewhat reasonable to even think yeah, about it. Yeah, a cat in, the, in a hotel room is a panty. Yeah, we've done that, which was not that much fun. I mean, it was fun. It was fine with her. Um, I'd love to see a factory offering for Vanquish with that, but I know the numbers are probably too low to merit production. The, yeah, that is kind of the problem, is that it would be such a... I agree. I do wish that it was... And the other thing would just be explaining it to people and then people trying to educate people on why it's a thing and why... or why that they bought it for the truck that can't use it or doesn't need it. <laughs> Oh, man. Will Vanquish ever offer a carbon fiber lightweight chassis rails? If not, is there a carbon fiber chassis rail that fit the VFD transmission? I'm not sure if there is. Maybe there is. You probably won't see it from Vanquish just because I don't think that it's a, like, it's a scale truck. Put a scale chassis in it. So Maybe you I would advocate against it for us. Therefore, there's probably a lesser chance of it ever happening. Oh, man. We have to build things that we like, not just things that people will buy because... Uh, that sounds wrong. No, it's like, <laughs> that's why we you come up with things that are good products, because you care about them. Not just because, like, oh, someone will buy this stupid flat rail chassis thing. Oh, I need the other tube of bearings. I want a box drop. <laughs> I'm not shipping anymore. So Dan's not up for the box drawing. Um, you will you you can usually get a box drawing from Dan, but it is usually some form of stick figure. Oh, I was like, what? What? Somebody said Brian Max said Josh's shirt is glowing red and Nicole's head is on fire. Is that just me? And then poor man RC or no, sorry. SFL RC24 said the hair is the Harley logo and the glowing red is the light <laughs> on the wall behind them. Um, Josh, did you lube up that axle? I did. Did I? Dale C said, Nicole, I told my wife about how Josh helps clean the house. You mentioned she laughed. She said she feels your pain. She said to grab a bottle of wine, clear his weekend, and watch for entertainment. <gasps> I, I think that I didn't grease these gears now, so now I have to pull this all apart. Oh. Four screws. And you need to just... You should ever scrooch it in. Milo Ejo. Uh -huh. Sorry, I can't uh -huh. say it, not say it right. It says hello, hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, we. I like Phoenix, too. Somebody was right. What? I did not grease. Is there a way to buy a 410 Pro without the body wheels and tires? No. No. Not unless you buy it from somebody who would like to not play it. You hate me, Nicole. You never read my comments. I don't know. I, I don't hate you. I just... Yeah, you do. That's the person you do. You said that in the other day. You said that it? Colton I is. A... Shit, never. <laughs> I just missed him. 
Dan wrote thanks on my dig receipt. <laughs> Josh, I like your no comment on house cleaning. He doesn't, he doesn't have anything to say. He doesn't do it. I think the best way to clean a house is to... What? Have a wife? Is that what you're going to say? I mean, step one. Acquire a wife. <laughs> you suck. Fireball and sun kissed. I just, I orange and cinnamon together just sounds like such a bad. That's probably why he thinks that like it, what's probably why it's good is because it's something you don't. I don't know. Yes. Um. DPC is doing a three day fun event at the. Rubai Slabs, just west of Lake Tahoe in late June, up high by 50. Hmm. DPC is the Donner Party Crawlers. Fun, fun club name. Yeah. Josh, make a 3D printed chair for the cat to ride the Roomba. Roomba. I don't have a Roomba. John Mesa said, hey, Nicole. Hey, John Mesa. John Mesa? Yeah. Fish Max. Fish? Yeah. Oh, fish? <laughs> it's a long time. It has been a long time. <laughs> you. They're down in Atlanta, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're my fave. Josh is more of a Ryan Howard than a David Wallace. <laughs> I mean, there's some truth to that. I mean, not a lot, but. Will the transmission you put in the bomber fit in the Capra? Transmission I put in the bomb. Um, it is specifically made for that setup that I put in the bomber. So, no, not unless he was to make or adapt or you were to try and get that and then adapt it. But straight away, no. Missing a bearing. What? I Me. I, w I didn't install a bearing yet. Oh. You did not mispack a bearing. Video of the magic table. It's hilarious. Girlfriend complains. Guy tells her about a table that he puts things on and it magically gets out of the way from there. Yeah, magic home. A ma magic floor. Yeah. Um, let's uh drink lots of drink uh preferences yeah no we're not big drinkers anymore no kind of you used to just be rum and diet all the time mm -hmm. and i was mainly a pale ale person Absurd. I know. Sweet. I give it a shot. Motor forward, trans for the win. And thank you for spelling that out. <laughs> yeah. You use internet speak around here, her, and it's. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Does the Vanquish Incision KMC Panzer wheels clear the portal boxes and it's an SCX 10 3? Um, does that one clear? I'm trying to remember. I don't know. I haven't tried to put that together. It, I mean, it will definitely clear depending on the hub. And I think a number four hub will clear. But I have not tried it personally. So I have a hard time saying 100% yes. Have you seen Holmes' new video with the action figure modifications? Oh my God. I have not yet. You can only imagine. I will absolutely have to go watch that. 
what man holmes has the personality john holmes is absolute is one of my favorite people on the planet for real is and his wife she's amazing yes they're amazing how much to get you to do a live stream of you guys rewatching flying cars? <laughs> we would have to watch. We'd have to watch it with headphones so I didn't get another copyright strike. Wait, what happened? They gave us permission to watch the video right. and, the, you know, all this. But then the company that owned some of the music in their copyright gave Matt and I both a copyright strike. I don't know what that is, but it's like assholes. I know. So, yeah, it's a YouTube thing. Um, no, there's not, there's not enough money. I no. I mean, there is. Well, yeah, obviously, but <laughs> act like you wouldn't do it for 50 bucks. How long was it? <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. It's not even a lot of money. It's just... <laughs> You're a cheap date, as they say. Yep. Um, Josh, after the last week, I would think you would keep that exacto knife farther away from a coal. That's true. You did start to wield that thing. Stop it. God. You need a haircut. You're so... Just willy nilly with the sharp stuff is it's. I'm trained professional. I'm yeah. a trained professional when it comes to sharp stuff. That while that is true, I've met a lot of professionals that. What? I'm just saying. You still scare me. I haven't drawn blood yet. <sighs> I haven't. I think that. I think I've seen you cut yourself multiple times. Yeah, I've cut myself. Doesn't count. Every, every stylist cuts themselves. Do you crawl full scale vehicles? No. Nope. Not really anymore. Ever? You never have owned a full scale. I never owned. I just either competed or uh oh went on a lot of went yes. and did a lot of wheeling. One of his best friends was a wheeler. So and we competed in We Rock for. Three three years. How many? Three. I was, I was like I, two three. Four. Most people don't do that. Most people do this. You do this like you, your fingers are. You can't spread your fingers enough. It's hard to tell sometimes. This is like the three is the easy way it's to like this. It's not. <laughs> really, you're a child. <laughs> it's easier to see when someone does this. Three. Three like this, you can't. It's like that. <laughs> you are a child. <laughs> oh, man. Holmes is doing a live video right now. Oh. All right. Way to announce it and lose our viewers. But no, seriously, what the hell? <laughs> I don't care. Hey, Josh, I was going to order ribs, but there's like a hundred different hubs. Which ones do I use for the VS410? Um, if you go with an incision, or if you go with a Vanquish wheel, pick up a 350 hub. That's my preference. Almost any of them will work, but my preference is a 350. Gives you a pretty close to stock width. Good stance. Doesn't get you too wide, though. There you go. And then if you want black to match your wheel, great. If you want brass because you want to add some weight, there's an option. Does that smell weird? It smells like grease. Oh, yuck. It does smell like grease. You know why? Mm. Because it's grease. Hopefully third time's a charm. Please ask Josh if he has driven on the rocks at Beals Point Folsom Lake. Yes, we've uh, I shot a number of videos at Beals Point. Um, the 
2017 Axial JK video, was that Beal's point? Partially. What? You gasp and then you just go quiet. You don't like. Hi, or fly high Ireland UK said I'm new here. Big like for me. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. UK. It's late in UK. Or early. They're like seven hours ahead of us. I don't know. What was Martina? She was, yeah, usually like, like seven hours, right? Like seven hours. But that was back home. So like oh, nine, nine hours. hours. Yeah, yeah. Um. So the Wrangler is a mall crawler. Uh, I mean, it goes on appropriate paths, I'll say, you know, like there's enough places up here where you just need a, you know, low range and four wheel drive to just get to some cool spots, but I'm not going to go. It's not one that I'm wheeling hard. It's a, you know, it's a Dana 30 front on 32 inch tires, like I'm not trying to. Okay. Um, I think tattered dim I don't know what that says. Renamed Lost Child will be my next, I'm assuming, movie. It was right. filmed just down the road using some locals, some who don't get out much. He's from Missouri, so Huh. That'd be interesting. Any more thoughts on the off road dancing writer? I mean thoughts on it, but it's like a Three wheels and off road is, I mean, that's why they stopped selling the big red. Oh, he said it's not live. It's just you should watch his action figure video live here. Oh, I see. Can't do that. You can't watch people's videos with Stop. You get in trouble. You'd think well, someone like, quit smelling things, Josh asked. <laughs> I mean, I knew it wasn't going to be as bad as that. You knew it wasn't going to be as bad as a tire? Yeah. Greetings from Kansas City. Hey. Glad it stopped raining there today. And it was out mom were outside. 3 15 a.m. here in London. Yep. That sounds appropriately early. The Jeep Gladiator looks like a pregnant wasp with all that ass hanging behind the rear wheels. Well, that's how I like them. That was weird. <laughs> I don't look like a pregnant wasp. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't think that was where I was going to go with that, did you? I didn't. <laughs> How do you like Snow Runners? Uh, I played it quite a bit last night. Isn't that right? Yeah, you did. I sat in my dark studio and played a video game all last night. Yeah, well, I was fine with that. <laughs> that. Yeah. But other than that, so far I like it. It's such a slow paced, like, just. I don't want to talk about video games. Sorry. Josh, for a custom build with. Oh, wait, sorry. Lots of us KC guys on here tonight. John's Tiny Trucks. Hey, I know John Nichols. Oh, yeah? Do I? Um, I don't think so. Um, you started answering my question about the bomber shock Sorry. link mounts, but oh yeah, did... they were out of production for a little bit. They will be back. Um, that was more of a machine that was down for a couple of months and made a return. But during that time, the supply got soaked up, and then trying to make enough for it just what was the pregnant wasps. No, from yeah. Newfoundland here. Have you ever heard Funny. bus or nowhere? <laughs> you know, we have. <laughs> We, we do. Unless you're trying to say, you know, that maybe your specific channel. But we definitely know Newfoundland. No, that's it. Hmm. Steve Finley. Can you Steve shoot? who donated. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. From Newfoundland. No, Newfoundland. <laughs> I also know that what the dog is. Oh, I was like, the dog? Oh, the Newfoundland. The Newfoundland. Yeah. Yes. Big old, big old dog. All right. We've got front rear axles done. We'll move on to the... Chassis. 
Yay. John Holt, not John Nick. Sorry, John Holt. The two Johns in Missouri. What about John? I I, I, yes. I follow John's tiny trucks on uh, Facebook. So, oh. And then I think maybe we're Facebook friends too. But either way, I see the page and I was just... What's that? Which John Baylor? A loss, yeah. But John doesn't play with tiny trucks as much anymore. Aww. That John. He does, but not as much. For a custom build, do we do that one with Capra axles? No. Would you recommend a TRX for sport transmission? No. I would go with an Axial 3 gear trans. It's a standard old 3 gear. Sport transmission is just too much to work around and too much going on. And I would just not go that route. Keep it simple. Keep the options open. You can add dig. You can do so much. Well, we know what Josh likes to talk about. What do you like talking about, Nicole? Let's see. We could. Oh, we could. Could we discuss our new. Um, niece or nephew coming? Nephew. We have another nephew on the way. Too. So excited. I love so having... easy to buy presents for nephews. For me. Nieces would be great and all, but nephews, I can, I'm going to be a fantastic uncle for nephews. Nieces, I'm, I'm. Girls can play with trucks. They can, if they, absolutely. The lot. So I have had Uncle Osh. <laughs> uncle Osh, go work. <laughs> I love my nephew. We did get a portal. Um, a Facebook portal and it is the best thing ever for speaking to little children because it follows him around and oh I love that kid to death he's my fave um how free should a VFD transmission spin I mean there's a lot of gears and it's there's overdrive so you're gonna have you know just with all those gears you're gonna have drag so just needs to to spin basically you know that I don't know that there's a way for me to say exactly how much resistance you should feel, but you're going to feel some. I even charged my batteries. Milo says, say hi to Jade if you can, please. My daughter and crawling buddy. Hello, oh, Jade. Jade. What a pretty name. Congrats. Thank you. For yes. <laughs> We're so excited, excited about our having kids for us to play with. Uh... I got, I just got a couple mini crawlers to get my six year old daughter into RCs. Actually, what did he say the other day? We were on the portal and he said, perfectly, he just turned to my nephew. And we said, we had got him a little, my first remote control car for his birthday. Oh, that's right. And he said, perfectly, remote control car. And we were all like, can you say that again? And then he, he didn't. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Um, Yes, now Zuck is spying on us now. You know what? I get it, but... You know, he could do that or he could just watch our live feed for yeah, multiple hours every week. Thing. Super fun. You could turn on all of the secret cameras in here and you'd still just see this all the time. Or me out there, probably, like, hopefully. Watching Naked and Afraid. Yeah. Naked and Afraid has definitely been binge-watched around here for the last several weeks. How many CNC's do machines does Vanquish have? A lot. Eighteen. John Grant says hi, Nicole and Josh. Kansas City Royals for a lot of years had a farm team here in Sarasota. Oh. I pick up your T-shirt today and we'll send it out next week. Uh, Thank you. I will wear it. I've never been to Sarasota. I. Um, yeah. Everyone's trying to eat his food again. She gets very defensive. Let it get. Right. Oh, I already put. I already put it in there. Do you? Here, come here. Come on. Put that 
10, 7, 8. What are you doing? Dead. No, oh, I used an 8. Dang it. Just trying to make sure I'm using the right size screws everywhere. Hello from Chicago. What are we building? We are building the VS410 Ultra tonight. So the portal version with the black anodized axles. You get a dancing rider and you get a dancing rider for the kids. <laughs> My two daughters and granddaughters have RC trucks. That's awesome. How do you stop yourself from smacking Josh every 30 seconds? Hmm. Self-control. You don't have any self-control. Yeah. I bought Shazam. It was fantastic. Your it is favorite. Though. When are we going crawling next? This Chris. Karen. Oh. Yes. I need I'm ready to get out. Not this weekend. Oh, hi. What do you think about the cross crest VR? Oh, VR4C. That is the new go fast, I believe, correct? Um, I don't trust cross with durable platforms. So that is one of those ones that I think needs to be very durable. So I would pass until it's more proven. I think cross does cool detail stuff, but you know. Kind of like RC four wheel drive. They make really good looking stuff, but I don't necessarily think Vanquish started drive. selling brass. Uh what's next? Novelty brass body posts. Ooh. Brass body posts. Josh, do you know what oh gosh, the part number on the Traxxas bits mine are wearing out and I need something new. Um, I don't know what it is. I think I have it linked somewhere, but I don't remember. I need to finish the page on my website linking it all and I'll try and get that done as soon as possible. But I believe this is called like the master kit. You're um, helpful. I know I'm the worst. Ooh, but Jesse Max back with some more I'm kind of jealous. Sounds good. Doesn't it? Except whenever I want Chinese food, you're not interested. I know, but for some reason it sounds good. I want Thai food all the time. And you were. All right. I I would eat Thai food tonight. Would you? Yeah. When are you going to build your, when are you built to build a ripper? We'll see. Ripper build. We'll see. Been looking at a Holmes Hobbies brushless motor setup for an enduro. Which one should I get? Thanks, Connor G. 2700 KV Polar Pro. Um, even the stubby would be a good fit still though. And pick up a Mamba X. Um, my eight-year-old granddaughter wants a dancing rider. Yes. They're pretty kind of fun. I mean, they are, it's, and especially for kids, they're like funny to look at because they're always flopping. Yeah. And when they tip over, you can, they flip themselves back up. Like they're just, they're fun in that way. So it's a good choice and they're pretty durable. And they're, aren't they, are they easy to drive? Um, Yes and no. I mean, no one's drive. No eight-year-olds driving for like performance or for longer than ten minutes. Right. right? No. Mate, nah, that's not true. I shouldn't say that. Is that John a, drives forever? Yeah, true. Is that a D one ten body back there? It is. That is a D one ten Galande two that I bought months ago and then never touched, and I just need to sell it, so it's for sale. I brought it home so I could post pictures so I could sell it because I bought a truck today and what'd you buy? A pretty cool truck. I literally don't care. Um, somewhat expensive. So I need to recoup some cost. I'm going to make money on it, of course, but it was expensive. Ew. Multiple litter robots. What is wrong? Why do you think if you tell me here that I'm not going to be? Because huh. mm -hmm. if I'm going to get beat up, it should at least be on camera. 
Well, that's dumb. I mean. Um, has anyone seen the Tamaya Van Hardbody? I wonder what the wheelbase is. Uh, the, the Midnight Pumpkin, right? It's pretty short. It's like under, under 10 inches. You can't order Chinese yet. Why? Or tight, because this is going to be a little bit longer. Starving. I know, but just think of how much. We'll wait a little bit. Then. I want bacon. I'm, I know I haven't been to the store this week, so I don't, I don't have anything. Um, oh, sorry. Mamba X or Mini X? You're Mamba a X. Okay. Um, for almost anything, unless it's pretty light, just spend a little bit extra and get the extra that comes with the, the Mamba X will give you. Like if you can, if you can just stretch it at all, just get the X. I do have the mini in my, the orange uh, forerunner behind her head. Bought yourself a new truck, forgot to get your wife a birthday present. <laughs> <laughs> if you're talking about the Tamaya lunchbox body, lunchbox, not midnight. It's one twelve, one 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 four. Matt says hi, guys. Hey, you guys. That was for. I looked right over as soon as that. <laughs> Thank you, Dale C. That was very nice of you again. I looked right over right when I saw someone. Give money to slap. In California, is it legal for Nicole to be texting while Josh is building? <laughs> I'm having a hard time deciding ultra or pro, your honest opinion for my first truck. I, my personal preference is still the pro. So, but if you're just wanting to bash around in the backyard, the pro is, or the ultra is still great, but whoop. you order whenever you want. Let him eat cold Chinese. You guys are going to sit here and watch. Well, actually, no, she'll just disappear. And then you'll have to, you'll have a silent, worthless stream because I'll be building this truck. You did just sign before I be involved in this crazy. You know what? Before you, I was lost. You're such a liar. You, you complete me. You complete us. The stream stopped. <laughs> what truck did you buy today, Josh? Question yeah. mark, question mark, question mark. You want to see a picture? Not really. Well, I'm not going to show them, but. Um, I have the Element Enduro and I love it. My question is, what should I do to get a little more wheel speed when I can't make it up some climbs? DT110, how much? Travis, make an offer. Um, I'm thinking like 300 bucks. Oh, wow. That's neat. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Why can't you show it? Because I just don't want to show it yet. Not until it's here. Do you know if the Pro Line van body is on sale? It is on. I believe you can order it. I don't think it's shipping just yet, but I believe you can order it. Which I haven't done yet, but I will. straight axles on the vanquish um i mean if it's just it's literally just the addition of you know this portal box that's machined into the housing so on the on the pro it's just straight and the axle shaft comes out up here rather than the, the portal um i mean that's that's just the difference between a portal and a non-portal axle which is really the it's a two. It's a little two gear gearbox out here that gives you that extra clearance, but it raises your center of gravity a little. It's just this trade off, but it also reduces a little bit of torque twist because of the extra reduction. So 
you know, there's there's the pros and cons. Gosh, I had a guy try to talk me out of a VS410 Pro. That's very nice. Um, saying the frame bends easier than SCX. I don't see that. We do take some big tumbles. So the reason that that is a, a point of view is because that in the very first VS410, the Origin Limited, it initially didn't have the same frame bracing that these have now. And there was some bends, but in those we offer, or we, we made aluminum machined mounts that went into it to fix that. And we gave those to all the owners. So it fixed it in that one. But then in the, the ultra and the pro now it's got this huge fully, you know, one piece molded rear brace that completely fills these frame rails. And then the front one, this is all filled and it goes down the inside of the C channel in here as you can see. And then when the transmission drops in, it connects here and back here. And it may, it basically makes this thing like an insanely, there isn't, I don't think you can find any chassis that's more rigid. TRX four would probably be the closest and like, mm -hmm. it's just one of the most rigid you can get. Here, so. Tito Rivera has a good question. So is incision and vanquish one in the same? Um, it's it's all Vanquish, or it's all the same company. It's just like, for example, Vanquish links before were always titanium. And we wanted to offer a, a much lower cost option. So instead of machining it on, or out of titanium, we machine it out of stainless. It's machined on the, you know, the same machines here in Sacramento. One's just done with stainless and one's done with titanium. So the cost of stainless is a fraction of what titanium is. So then that's why the link kits were went from $129 for titanium to, you know, $49 for stainless, $59 for stainless, depending on the kit. Um, it's just, it was something that we could offer two of the same parts, but in different ways, you know, for example. Um, new guy on Facebook makes a fair lead for the pro bumper all CNC for $6. What a deal. Why doesn't Vanquish make this as an option? Um, just one of those things that we haven't done. I mean, so that's a, it's a good idea. I think I've actually seen that. I thought it was water jet or something, but either Josh, way. Is your Prop 65 compliant? Um, our, no, it has a Prop 65 warning on it. I think it was a joke. Oh. You can't joke about these things in California. Everything in California is going to cause cancer. Specifically. Yeah. Um. These are the things we actually have to like think about. Like we're just a little company, but we're at, you know, there's four of us in the, you know, trying to make sure that everything's compliant and, or like we're doing everything the legal way that these big companies have lawyers for and, Trying to make sure we do everything right. Um, hi, Friday night friends. Michael Kobitka. Hi. What's up, Michael? Hope you're feeling good. Absolute best C channel chassis, in my opinion. It is. You're correct. I agree with you. Josh. Or like Adam Carolla says. Favorite show that Glon Day off. I may be interested or shoot me a, Facebook, a message on Facebook. Can we grab that big yellow thing and flash it in front of the camera? Ooh, it's all new. I don't know anything about it. It's four link and RC. I don't think the door's open. Oh, be cooler if they did. Be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> Whoops! Turn out. You can just put it on the ground. Talk Vanquish into moving back to Missouri. Wish. You'd be the, the second biggest advocate for it. The first would be my wife. Yeah. You said we. Do you work with Vanquish? I do. 
Every day. That is where I go to work. Um, what would you do to upgrade a Vanquish Pro? Also, is Vanquish planning another release of a new rig? So if you're going to look at upgrades, the 21% overdrive kit is my, is my first suggestion. And the second suggestion is the dig. So, well, wheels and tires first for style. Second, 21%. Third, dig. There you go. And then... Even if we were, which we're not, I wouldn't say it in a live stream before we announced it. You're no fun. But we're not. There. Between wheels and brass, I've added 312.2 grams of weight to my Gen 8 axe front end. Do you think I need to add weight to the rear to balance out performance? I would have to do the conversion to try and get a grasp on how much weight that is, but no. Um, Stop. I, I would not. I would not add weight to the rear of a vehicle. Don't try and figure out how to either lose weight in the front if you're trying to. Like I don't add weight to try and balance things out. I would, you know, if I can, especially if it's in the back. If you're going to add a little weight in the front, you need to. Okay, but in the back, like don't do that. If you need to, like maybe move a component, you know, a little bit more towards the rear or something, but. Don't add weight. Mm, knowing or Harley Davidson loves to pull the copyright crap, are you worried about any backlash for them for your name or use of HD on your 3D designs? No, not really. It's a whole different market. There's no crossover, and I don't use any of their um, logos, likenesses, or any of that. So... Um, as long as I'm not using it in the same space or in any way that, you know, oh, you, mm. the word Harley is not necessarily something that, unless it's trying to occupy the same space, it's fine. Are you guys going to watch the launch tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm excited. I watched the last one get delayed. Yeah. Womp, womp. Glad to make it to a live. It's only 4.40 p.m. here in Honolulu. Ooh, nice. Oh. Ty Little gave your or gave your weight thing. Oh. Josh, what do you use for a uh, battery charger? I just got an ISDT Q6 Pro Smart Charger. That's a nice one. I like the ISDT stuff. Um, I'm actually, I'd like to pick up an ISDT for uh, field charging especially. But um, currently I use a Protec... Prodigy 610, the four channel charger, and a Venom Pro Duo. Uh, the Pro Duo is one that I had. I got the Prodigy afterwards because the Prodigy does life packs, which my, it does life pack and uh, lithium high volt. Two things that I needed to be able to charge. That's not it. I need the transmission bag. Um, Travis, you can message him on Facebook. Yes. If you message me, you won't never get a response. <laughs> so you're saying no VS410 Supreme or whatever is higher than Ultra. <laughs> I do like Supreme. That's a good, that's a good one. What dig would you add? The VFD Hertz dig. It's the only dig that you can add. Hi from New Zealand. Hello. No, I don't. <laughs> Look, that got that got flagged too. Tranny bag time. <laughs> Hold on, okay, well. Talk amongst yourselves. I wanted to finish this. What? Email, but. I guess I won't. Um, where did Harley designs come from since you had a Busa? He had a Harley before that. Um, <laughs> yeah, tomatoes and sour cream make it a supreme. Here, let's... 
Oh, no. no, I know that, but maybe before you order your food. <laughs> Beef Supreme for VS 410. <laughs> Beef Supreme. Oh, said, Idiocracy. Tomatoes and sour cream. I, I want to watch that Some movie. Idiocracy? Yeah. We haven't watched it in a while. We watched it at my parents' house when? Thanksgiving? No. Oh, man. Christmas? We made them watch it and they were just like, this is dumb. I thought it was. No, they thought it was dumb. They thought it was a documentary. They think every movie we choose is terrible. Don't say we. Josh looks like he has dad shorts on. Kind of. They have a they have a string tie in the pants. Yeah, regular shorts. Purchase that drill amazing tool. It's a good buy. It is one to own. If you installed the extended shock towers on the Ultra with the 90 millimeter shocks, and what did you do to make the body fit right? Um, I haven't. I run my Ultra pretty much stock. Uh, it's actually, I, I like the way it drives. So, you know, that's kind of one of those things when we are setting these things up, we kind of get to choose the way that we like them and that's how we release them. So usually you guys are, are seeing the setups that we prefer, which is with the exception of like the overdrive and things like that, like things that we don't think the market is, you know, like if maybe it's not for everybody, like a, a, a real high overdrive percentage like that, maybe that's not for everybody. So that's why we, you know, for instance, leave that out. and put in a reasonable overdrive, like 6%, 7%, whatever it is, 7%. Missing some. Um, one more question, looking for thin lipos for a custom build I'm doing, thin or just compact, where should I go? Um, so I run pretty compact lipos for most of mine. I use the Genzace or the Tattoo brand, T-A-T-T-U uh, brand FPV packs. The ones made for little FPV quads. And they're, uh, all mine are in my battery box right now, but uh, they're a, a compact lipo and they're a high C rating. So you don't starve your motor if you're running something that draws a lot. Um, so, and they have tons of sizes. 3S and 4S. I don't know if there's 2S. Maybe there is. But um, I really like the... I run a lot of 4S, so that's where why I go to the drone packs a lot. But when you run small and compact batteries, unless you find those high C rating batteries, you'll, you'll starve the motor. So you'll end up losing performance just because you chose the wrong battery. If you have a battery with way more amperage than the motor needs, it has no effect. It's just, it's there for extra overhead. But if you have too little, you'll, you know, and you can damage the battery. Even. Is Vanquish open for business as usual? The reason I asked is I order a VS410 Chrome Clear. Are they running a bit behind? Um, VS4, I'd have to double check it and make sure that but no, everything's running as usual. So, I mean, today was super busy was all, I guess. I, I don't know when you ordered. Some, a lot of the USPS is all, is very. Yeah, but he would have at least got an email notification from us. Oh, so. yeah. What is the correct SLW hub to run with 105 rims on Ultra? Still start with a 350. That's still my go-to, especially with the, the Ultra, just because you want it the, about you know, the right amount of offset and 350 is just, that's my go-to hub to start with, you know. Jesse Schultz is here. Jesse, I just got an email that our baby's ready to go. You just got to get her. Plane ticket. Flying, flying a kitty. Make sure, I will make sure that he checks his Facebook messages. He's very interested. I do check my Facebook messages. As long as it's my... Harley Designs page. Yeah. Don't message my personal page. I don't 
<laughs> he said that he'll he can I can send him a message on Facebook and he'll work out a deal with me. <laughs> I like the way you think. Just open my two two method three oh seven bead locks. They look great. Are you putting electronics in that rig? Um this rig will be completed, but not tonight on the feed. we we'll probably get this thing to a slider as they call it. Axles, chassis, transmission, all that. And then that's going to be my birthday present is we're going to cut the feed shorter. Than, not birthday to me, birthday to her. Oh, I was like, your birthday's not for another month and a half. When's my birthday? July 24th. Okay. You never remember. Right. You always get it wrong. I do. Um, What's the oldest lipo you have and how many have a slight puff to them? I don't even want to know about that um, period. I don't, I don't keep, I don't really keep old lipos. I don't think I probably have anything older than maybe three years. How many um, have a slight puff to them? I honestly, I don't know that I have. I think there was. I'd have to check. I don't, I don't keep any, I don't keep old lipos that much. That you kept in the Jeep when I was driving it in the summer in Missouri for quite a while. I'm not saying that I'm always the best at light bone. Try your best because it's dangerous. But I don't I don't keep old and honestly I don't know that I really have much of anything with a puff. Fish said, I just bought a resin printer. After I get it running, I will be sending you guys the Sunday night models. Nice. Yeah, Fish has got a little collection of uh printers going. I ordered stuff from Vanquish and got no stickers. What the hell? Sorry, I'm I'm not shipping anymore. Well, why don't you just put them in everything? Because I'm not in charge. Every order. It's not hard. You just do it. I don't do it. I can't say. Sancho Ancho gave us two dollars. Thank you. Sancho, thank you. Um. The, he said HD. He said HD what? I don't know. John, he said, he, oh, he says HD. The 777 or Holmes is next. Oh, for servos? Um, I, I'm, maybe that's what he's saying. Um, I would probably go with the Holmes. Um, SLW hubs bolt up for RC four wheel drive one nine wheels question mark. Couldn't tell you that. Um, I don't know. Oh, he was looking forward to stickers more than the components. I'm so Make sure you put a note in there next time. Yeah. Say so Josh said that he If you just blame me, then they basically have no choice. Jerry's old guy review says Will these portals work on other trucks besides the VS410? Um, an offset that's an offset portal. So, well, they're not available separately, first of all. So you can only get them if you buy the VS410. So. Um, you're over there. He's just being so bad. When you say high C rating, how high is that? Um, so it all depends on the milliamp of the battery. It's an equation. It's the C rating times the milliamp hour. Or not that, not, not milliamp hour, times the amp hour. So if you have a 5,000 milliamp battery, that's a 5 amp hour battery. So if you have a 5,000 milliamp and you have a 20 C, then it's 5 times 20. So 100. 100 amps is pretty good. Um, you know, you you can run almost anything. So 20C is fine at a 5,000 pack. But if you run a 1,000 milliamp pack, then, and you only run a 20C battery, then you only have one times 20, so 20 amps, which is not enough. <laughs> so the C rating all depends on the size of the battery pack. I run 1,300 milliamp 95C batteries. I am done with math class. I thank you for Gosh, letting me. Does Vanquish make F9s and 2 2 Wraith with? Uh, not currently. They are not currently in production. Uh, he said almost two months ago he ordered it, but he lives in Canada. Oh, that's likely a customs issue. Yeah. 
especially two months ago, they were some stuff was getting stopped. So yeah, or send an email and we can double check on it. But almost it, for sure, like there's nothing that is it shouldn't be more than a day. What's your favorite radio? Taba four p.m. I think that is the best buy for your money. Michael Kubitka says, what are you talking about? You reply to me on your personal page, but I guess that's a perk of being a time filler. Hashtag drift times. So, oh, sorry. It's been like three hours. What? The, the, I'm not saying I've never responded to personal messages. And especially like when I know somebody, then it'll pop up in my right. Otherwise it shows up as a message request and I never go check that. Um, here's a good, a really good question from Colton. Where do I get rid of light bulbs? That is like a debated thing. Um, like, you know, the, the, I've used methods of where you put them in a bucket of high salinity, like a lot of salt water. But some people say that those are still volatile because it'll melt the that's the method that I've used. Don't, I'm not saying that that is the method you should use or the most proper method. Um, I believe that also some battery stores will take batteries to recycle and they will handle it in an appropriate way, supposedly. But you need to make sure that the batteries are like so at Ace Hardware has a battery program you can use. They expect cool batteries but accept anything that's fully discharged that's the problem is the fully discharged thing um, because fully discharging a lipo can be volatile so toad dice said charge them up and shoot them <laughs> that's somebody from missouri don't do that so let's have a uh josh birthday party at donner ski ranch on I know. What should have been Axial Fest 2020. <laughs> That's when my birthday was last year during Axial Fest. Yeah. We'll see. We... I'm I'm going to be the bad one and tell him he can't be around people still because he has a lot of people he has to take care of at the shop. Would you recommend purchasing an HPI Venture just to have one? Looking to pick one up at the SBK. I wouldn't. Not that it was a bad truck. But one part goes wrong on you. It could basically leave you with a useless vehicle. So for that reason, I will say that I do not suggest it. Does Vanquish have any 10-3 straight axles in the works? Has VP ever thought of making a fuel cell? Hello, Nicole. Hello, Sancho. Joke. Uh, okay, there's a lot of questions there. Is there? What was that again? 10-3 straight, straight axles? Yeah, in the works. Uh, not currently. Have you ever thought of making a fuel cell? Um, sure. Bob DeGood says, Best Buy will take old lipos. Yeah, there's got to be places that, because it's, it's not like RC is Right. There is. It's just the, the thing with what places will actually take a charged battery. Like there's, you don't want to be the one, you know, dropping off you know, materials that are, could cause an issue, or I don't, I'm not saying that, but. Okay, I'm super way behind, I apologize. Um, oh, it was a test that my chat isn't scrolling anymore, fish. For, it's something with YouTube. You have to refresh it, or, or you can make the, make it big, make the picture big and then make it small again. Sometimes that works. I don't know. Some top level tech device right there. Unplug it and plug it back in. We're blowing, blowing it. Blowing it. <laughs> um, can you have a dig and two speed on this Tim? No, no two speed available. We are, I, we are not a uh, fans of two speeds. So we, what? Get a good brushless system. You'll have all the high speed, all the low speed, and you don't have a mechanical issue. Okay. Um, 
altered image said his birthday's tomorrow. Hey. Happy birthday, dirt image. Uh, Josie Schultz got a Raspberry Pi RC spice on coming Tuesday. Nice. Wiring my VS410 Pro, do you locate the RX all the way in the faux gas tank? Uh, I don't. I put mine on the side. I'm just on the side electronics tray area. I put the receiver and the receiver... The, did I say the receiver twice? ESC and receiver on one side. And then generally I put the battery on the other and I don't run the rear plate. He said me getting you to waste your time watching me drift for hours on it. Yes. Sure. Yeah. For some, for some reason... I think I was like wanting to be editing or something like that. And I am easily distracted if I'm like need to be editing because I just don't want to edit. And I think he had like just messaged me a formula drift video live. And I was just like, I'll start watching that. And then, and then I didn't get anything else done. Useless. Like the soul sucker. I'm watching D110 videos on mute. And, well, thanks for that. <laughs> um, lots of lipo things. Lots and lots. Uh, Redline says the hobby shop he works at takes them, and a company comes and takes them every couple weeks. That's good. I just yeah, check with your local retailer. Okay, I am missing things so <laughs> if josh gets covid19 and dies i call dibs on the ripper sorry god that's that's nicole's moving home fund she can take my life insurance and go retire in missouri for a while yep she can sell my rc cars until uh until the check comes yep RC four wheel drive winch twos or threes from Crash Panda Customs. Best name ever. What? I love saying Crash Panda. Uh, RC four wheel drive winch two S or three S. Um. Uh, I don't know. I haven't ran one of their winches in quite a while. I would have to look at the actual specs. I don't want to tell you to do something and you burn up your junk. I'm not saying junk derogatory. I'm saying is it. Killer. Okay, I'm I'm way behind, so I used my Traxxas two speed one time and immediately removed it. Hey Josh, what is this widest and strong strongest vanquish axle available? Um I mean AR60 axles are the widest axle we make, so that's the widest. Um and then strongest would be like VXD axle shafts for those axles, front and rear. So we're going to drop in the 21% overdrive set. So rather than using the molded bearing retainers like these, we're replacing it with the machined aluminum ones. These. Drop that in. Put the four bearings. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. If you ever need to get rid of your battery, always go to your local retailers. Ace Hardware and True Value Hardware stores are all locally owned and benefit from your traffic. Good call. Good call. Or I guess your local hobby shop. If they have the, you know, facilities for it, yeah. Yeah. Seems like a hobby shop should, but a lot of hobby shops are so, you know, they they're already you know they're already doing as much as they can for. Very little money in most cases. Sack Antique may open second Sunday. Is that Moose Joe? Yeah. Exciting. I don't. Somebody. Ah. Wanted, that's rude. And somebody gave you gave me two dollars to do that. So, like you said, I'm a cheap. I'm a cheap date. You are. Oops. That's terrible. You look so cute with your hair. It's very rude. 
Made, it's not rude. Made me smile. So thank you, Isogen. You so Jen. Chips is here. What's going on, Kevin? For a pro, what is the best brushless ESC KV for 3S and Pinion? I'm currently old school brushless right now. Um, 2700 KV, 3S, stock gearing. Don't You don't need to change your gearing. So for the 21% overdrive kit, you run the stock top gear and the stock uh, rear or bottom gear there. And then you drop in the machined idler gear, which has got the little shafts machined in. That goes in the first spot. And then you use the other machined gear, and that's going to go in the front output. So, chip, shoot. Oh, so so nice. Snarled sumo, which I never see comment, but you're here, so we're glad. So gave us twenty dollars and said thank you and appreciate you guys. We appreciate you. Thank you. Not a hint of gray. Uh there's some that come in on the sides here. I'm not mad about it. I don't really care. I know. I just, they just I, really show up. They just are so dark. It's and like, yes, I do need to cut it. I just haven't. I wear a hat every day now. Yeah. Because I get to. It's like one of those things. I worked in engineering for so long and, had to cut it all the you time. know, had, I was always worried about it, making sure that it was, it's like one of those things. Like, mm, I don't have to now. I can wear a hat. I don't have a meeting. I don't have to go see a council person or a lawyer or a or a state engineer nothing i get to do what i want is it possible to get the black pro aluminum motor plate separately yeah well um why do you look at me like i'm asking i was thinking well i was i'm thinking <laughs> um they are done they are packaged and i'm waiting on a photo otherwise i've got them done and ready to go on the site you sound like uh, a little kid I, it's, I'm like, ah, well, yeah, like we're ready to release them like today. I could put them, I could turn them live on the site right now and there just wouldn't be a photo. I should do that. Um, <laughs> wait, we can pay you to do evil things to Josh. Go grab a Sharpie. <laughs> Uh, hey, Josh, for the AR60s, I don't see specs for widths on the Vanquish site. How could one get the dimension? Um, yeah, it's just like a stock replacement axle, so it's not a, there's not like specific specs listed, but you could just go to Axial and look at the width of a bomber or a Wraith 2.2, and that'll get you your answers. Shit. Shoot. Shoot. I just remembered that we're also installing a dig. So I need to replace that bottom shaft that I just greased and got all greasy. Greasy. Which makes things less easy. Is your facial hair on steroids or something? Just, just two days ago, you had a baby face. Yeah. No, it's just, it grows like this. That's why I have a beard most of the time, so that I don't have to <laughs> deal with this. A hairy man. Josh, how much do you miss having to completely discharge your batteries before storage or charging? What did you use to drain them? We used a string of lights we plugged in to drain quickly. Um, I... Didn't I only started in RC in 2004. So, and I really wasn't like insane serious about it until a little bit later. And I got into lipos. I got my very first lipos from John Holmes. Um, I traded him some CAD work at the time because I knew CAD. That's kind of how I kept progressing in RC. Um, I knew CAD and I traded him out some work for drawing up motor design for him. And he gave me my first set of LiPo batteries. So 
Yeah. I didn't really have to do the whole nickel metal or NICAD thing for very long, for very long at all. Jerry's old guy review question of the night. What RC could I buy for my wife that she would fall in love with? I <laughs> bought her a few and she barely uses them. I think that's well, your answer. old guy. Keep, you know what? Keep trying. <laughs> if she really loves you, she'll like what you like. So buy what you want and give that to her. Jay says, Work. He's logging off. His foot is killing him after that nail issue. I don't know what that issue was, but it... was it? I wonder if it was an actual like nail or like a nail, like your toenail. Right. Um. But I hope you feel better. But I also don't want to know too much it. about a toenail issue. One of the don't girls, expand. When I was in cosmetology school, one of the girls in her book had ripped out all of the pictures because we had to do like nail diseases uh, section in that, and she had ripped out all of the pictures in them. Didn't want to see it. Nope. Yeah. The winch will run on 2S or 3S. I was curious if it is worth running it on 3S. Oh, if it's rated for 3S, absolutely 3S. I mean, for sure. Always more power. Speed and power. What's the best way to get more wheel speed out of the Element Enduro Sendiero? Uh, if you're not running 3S, run 3S first. Um... And then, if not from there, it's time to motor up. So he says, drunk, sp drunken spaghetti. That's weird. It's, it's him eating. Yeah. I'm starving. Um, Josh, are you, I don't know what that, set, what that is. What? Where? Are you a mech E? No, I'm a Civ E. Um, oh, I was afraid to read it out loud. She didn't know what mech E meant. Like, is that something? <laughs> is that some cosplay thing? <laughs> no, I'm a I'm a civil engineer who was just very mechanical as a person. So I was I was a, I am a professional civil engineer. I've only installed like four of these, so I have to keep looking at the directions. Just to make sure. Make sure everything's right. At least the caterpillar crawled off his lip. <laughs> Still my favorite thing. What? You The way you say caterpillar. I it's say it the cute! Way, I say it the way that it's spelled. Cute. Get the wife a bark car body from her childhood and put it on an RC car and she will drive it. I wouldn't. I would just play with it. He just rolled around. Hey, Josh, I have a really heavy rig. I am working on 23 pounds to be exact. What shot would one run to hold up the weight? It is a static Ford F100 8th scale that I want to RC. Um, I'd look into Bilstein's maybe. <laughs> um, no, for that. I think I know. I think maybe you and I have chatted before. It's like a crazy accurate big model detail thing. Um you're going to have a hard time finding a, an appropriate spring rate for a truck like that at, at 23 pounds. I mean, that's a really heavy truck. And without going with something like a, you know, like a fifth scale or an eighth scale shock that, that's made to handle something much more like that. But you're going to want to try and keep it somewhat scale. So, you know, I guess. Petra. Only you can answer. <laughs> Are you, they, oh, you. Yeah. Oh, what would you want? The the mm. green and gold up there, or my orange one? <laughs> no. Nothing. How do you get your wife or girlfriend interested in the RC hobby? I mean, I really like to cr to climb, to hike, and that's. I mean, I don't could give a shit about a, a truck, but. Yeah, she doesn't participate in anything actually truck related. So that part I can't help you with. But everyone does. Beyond that, she's just a trooper. It's like a trap. We go she's like, we get to go to a hotel? <laughs> Done. I don't have to clean out the shower that you use. 
Sign me up. Perfect. <laughs> and I get to go hang out and drink moonshine most of the time. And <laughs> why? Yeah, I don't know why every RC event you go to, someone's got someone's got a. You don't know why fireworks and moonshine are at every RC event. That's true. Probably not. No matter what, every event we're at, all of a sudden I turn a corner and you're holding a mason jar with cinnamon sticks in the bottom. I'm like, oh, <laughs> someone's going to have some opinions later. They find me. I don't even find <laughs> them. They find me. They're like, oh, yeah, you want some. You'd be the easiest person to kidnap. No one would want to kidnap me. No one would want to kidnap me. <laughs> they would give me back. <laughs> Stop talking about RC. Yeah. You're dumb. Uh, I'm not saying, saying that's what you would say. Yeah. I'm not I, calling her dumb. I don't care. I'm more, I'm, I want them to think I'm calling you dumb. <laughs> that would be rude. Um, They're talking amongst themselves. Which, which Thai place are you looking at? I'm looking at a few, but... Mm. Um, this place is side orders of peanut sauce, and that usually sells it for me. Thai Smile. Is that the one we went with John? Yeah. No, that was Little Buddha. There's that, or... So, here is our... Our dig transmission. The dig is this aluminum portion we just put on the rear. And this lever here disengages or in the forward position it's regular four-wheel drive then there's a center position where this freely lets the rear shaft rotate. like i can spin it right now and this isn't spinning up front or in the rear position it locks this shaft so i can't spin it at all but the front would still be spinning the front output so and it comes into use in a lot of different ways Oh, Jim's in here making fun of me now. Oh, I want to. <laughs> Telling you, you say caterpillar weird. My wife and I have totally different hobbies as well. If I talk RC, she zones out. Yeah, it's okay. It's, it's okay to have different hobbies. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It works. It it's good. I wouldn't want her in here touching all my tools. I can't touch all of his tools. <laughs> Ever think about <laughs> designing a receiver box? I don't. I know. I, I know. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> You're in charge of your own tools. <laughs> Child. <laughs> Peanut thought it was funny. Yeah, did you think that was funny? Um, I blah, blah, blah. did you ever think about 3D designing a receiver box to go in the second servo spot of the Vanquish or Element? Um, I guess that's an easy spot with a very consistent bolt pattern that could be used in multiple places. Probably, I mean, that's a super easy one to do. Um, <laughs> yeah. So sure. The kidnappers would pay you to take me back. <laughs> That's what my mom always said when I was like, just like no one would take you. you we we tried. You talk too much. Yep. I'm trying to play video games. Will you leave me alone. Oh. <laughs> um Isogen, I don't know what that means. But thank you for the five dollars. I don't know what Highland assume... Islay is either. Is that a is that American? I, maybe that's a okay. rest of the instructions are just about setting up the dig. You can send up if you want to send us stuff, send us moonshine. No. For one, no. Yeah. That's my favorite. That's a terrible idea. All right. So I'm not going to totally install all this because 
the owner of this, uh, we are going to build this for him with the electronics and everything. So I'm just, just going to place thing, put things into place a little bit since it has to be able to come out. And why not? Um, did you say anything about Q series lights? No, I didn't. Um, I mean, Q series will be more Q series are being done. Just a matter of everything being available and whatnot. But Zarcy Country and Rancho stock your Vanquish light bars. Yes. RC Country stocks tons of stuff. Can't decide what body to put on my element. I need help. I just wanted to give up and do a JL for performance aspect, but everyone has a Jeep. Everybody has a Jeep. That's a thing. I agree. Um, Power Wagon is the other one that everybody has, but is still good because... Okay. Got it. Found the hole. Um, oh, what? Scotch Whiskey. Okay. Fun. Um, the power wagon is just another one that it's good for performance. It doesn't, ha you know, gives you a lot of front approach. The VS410 body looks amazing. There you go. You get that one. Um, it's one of those things. Like, I don't know. I don't, it depends on what you what you're looking for, what you like. Would love to see a forward mounted receiver box for my BS410 Pro. I see what you're after. Josh, for the next monthly mayhem challenge, SCX10 battle bots. That'd be a blast. <laughs> the only problem is Matt and I don't actually live near yeah, each other. Was, so yeah. to battle them is the problem. Otherwise, I think BattleBots is like one of the best suggestions. And I would love to do that just because I have some confidence in that. But Brian Max said it, his wife enjoys RC crawling as much as he does. It's been a great addition to our hikes for sure. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean. I do have fancy shears and knitting. Yeah, so, don't yeah. try and use them to cut something else. I dropped the rod in. I don't know what that is. Um, I've got extras. In. Nicole gets a random bottle of moonshine, tries it, goes blind. Good stuff. That's why you're, that's the, that's the hope. That means it's good. Yeah, that's how you know it's good. Yeah. You only go blind for a little bit. It comes back. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. One time I was in Knoxville and I was, went on a cave tour. And they said that the reason that they say that was because these moonshine caves are so dark in them that that's why people go, would go blind because they would get stuck down there. And it was that dark that that that's the reason that you go blind. Not, not because you because actually you, go blind. Yeah, not because you're drinking like white lightning all the time, but I'm looking for an older Bronco body for mine. That would be cool. Yeah, who might? Um, Proline makes the the Bronco like CGR one, which kind of has like the molded cage and everything, which is a good option. It's a good one to, to look at. What do you <laughs> in about? Um, cue the, what's the tool he's using to assemble links questions. <laughs> <laughs> what is that tool? Who is Zerba? How do you spell Zerba? Yeah. Where is my other pin? What pro line body looks good with Capra axles? Capra? Or, sorry. Power wagon looks good. Easy cop out answer. Well, where did the other drive shaft go first? JMC badass says, Josh, what remote receiver are you going to use for this rig? Asking for a friend. <laughs> well, this it. isn't my truck. So. <laughs> This isn't my truck, so I don't 100% remember what. Will Vanquish ever really skinnier rock sliders? My Creeper J concept body is too skinny. Um, the other than just the regular, uh, it comes with the narrow ones for this, but I guess those could still be a little too wide. Could probably make a simple 3D printed one. 
How did I lose another drive shaft? I remember having them both. What in the world did I do? How does one do? There it is. Got it. Bingo. Have you ever thought about a hard body on a VS? I have one. The orange one right behind her head. The lights always look like they're on them. I know, it's just a reflection. But that's a hard body VS410 right there. Josh uses Fataba. He never changes because it's what he likes. <laughs> I like what I like. There it is. Found the pin. Aha. Two for two. Two for. Ralph, when you're doing a new prototype, how much 3D printing or CNC work goes into it? That's a good question. Uh, so it, it always depends on the, the product, you know, um, but generally I would say um, most things probably get 3D printed once or twice to, depending on how our level of confidence with our initial design. And then, uh, the CNC machining side is a whole nother, like things could take, I don't know, hundreds of hours of programming. If it's super, like maybe an axle, I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know how to CNC program and Jim does all of that. So um. it could take hundreds of hours or it could just appear that way. Not saying that he takes too long. Just that what he does is much just more. That's what he does, than... and that's what he does his yeah. thing. And <laughs> you don't. Maybe he's working on another project that needs attention, or maybe he's just working on that one. I don't know. When am I building a kit? Never. We did the Lego build once. That was as much as we. You'd know, be lucky you got that. Um, I just finished season eight of The Office, and you're still on. Thank you, Matt. And I'm hungry. I don't want food, but. You can order food now. Thanks. And that will give you. Oh, now there's a whole combo on. On what? Going blind. <laughs> <laughs> First you shave the beard, then the mustache. It's like I don't even know you anymore. Right? The. You gotta, you gotta keep it. Yeah, change it up. Yeah, no mustache. That was dumb. She did not like it. I just... No. Nah. It wasn't cute. <laughs> I don't know if we've ever eaten at this one before. Solitai? Hmm. You do that. I've got to go get my uh, real batteries. Can I go get it? You could go get it on the fab table. Grab my uh, impact gun that has one of the drill batteries in it or grab one of the batteries out of the charger. Um, oh, I'm going to order it. Matt says to order you a warm glass of shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good work. Just tripped over. <laughs> tripped over cat food. Spilled it everywhere. What is my favorite buffet to go to? Casino buffets. They're always the casinos have the best buffets. Um, oh, Jim talking about offering Brandon and I both the opportunity to be taught out of machine, and which is a whole. It's it's one of those things. Like yes, I'd like to, and then yeah, either of those will work. Thank you. Um. Thank you. All right, you still have to read comments while you order food. Oh, is that even physically possible? It's possible. It's not. Try harder. Good. All right, let's talk amongst yourselves. You're bad at this. Um, the new Trail Runner body looks similar to new Ford Broncos, except for the front end and everything else. Um, 
Josh, my friend, Joe wants to know when the next mayhem is. Ah, I don't know for sure. It, it depends. We've got, we got, there's some emails that we, I need to complete to get that done. I've been looking for a good trail rig. The two that I'm looking at is the Element Trail Runner or the SCX-10-2 F100. Gotcha. Um, the Enduro is going to have, or the Element Trail Runner IFS. So I don't love that choice. Um, drunken noodles, yeah. Can you do uh, do chicken and Thai hot? Oh, just hot at all that? Okay. Um, can you order food, but better? <laughs> That's Phoenix. You're welcome. <laughs> Angel wings, stuffed boneless chicken wings, tempura style, served with a honey plum sauce. That doesn't sound terrible. But it doesn't. Still. It doesn't sound terrible. Right. Uh, Josh, are you sure you were at Beale's point in 2017 JK videos? Dotton's point. Made, oh, trying to rem So Dotton's point is where I shot some of the drone footage. And then we went to Beale's point with the further back location where you drop off the road and have to drive back. So the drone shots were at Dotton's. And then the later on, the footage was from Beale's. So... Actually, and I think I might have had drone footage from there, too. Have you seen the new rendering of the... Oh, sorry, Neil. This is an anniversary dinner because it's expensive. Oh, really? Yeah. Where? So, so, that's not that bad. Um, $37 dinner is expensive. She, you're trained well. Mm-hmm. Um, when do you think the next flip that truck is going to be filmed? I just need to get into the shop to do some fab work and it's been so hot in the garage. Uh, but it's supposed to be cooler next week. So maybe I can get in there. Oh, everyone checking in on Matt's wife who I, I think that he has said, but she is doing okay. Got a nasty bump on the head, but that's so scary though. I know. Never mess with head injuries. I mean, I do, I do it all the time. Yeah, but she's she's like, that's so scary. I'm like, you I was like, hey, go. And Josh is like, you literally do that once a week. She'll, I'll get, how many, off, how often do I get a text that says, don't freak out, but I ran into something and rung my bell. Not a big deal, but if I'm asleep and you get home, like. I think, I, I feel like I should just tell, I feel a little nauseous, but I feel like I should just tell somebody. Like not exaggerating once every two months. Oh, at least. Yeah. Finished my 10-3 build. They definitely made the dig function better than the Capra's, but running Holmes 3500 KV PC trans is pointless. Can the stock skid be used in a three gear with Hertz dig? Um, good work. Nice read. Um, I don't think that the stock skid can be. I agree. That transmission is is overcomplicated for what it achieved. Um, and the two speed is uh, there's not a lot of different. Yeah, it's an overcomplicated trans. That's for sure. That's obnoxious. Well, it'd be way more obnoxious if it took longer, right? Liters of cola. Liter of cola. Josh looks like Tom Hanks right now. Oh. In what movie, though? Maybe just in life. Hmm. He does look good. Um, you know he hosted Saturday Night Live a couple weeks ago? He did. There was a terrible Saturday Night Live. It was the one that was good. Was it? I think so. I don't think they had a host on the one that was good. Oh, wait, maybe they did. It was Tom know. Hanks. I don't know. One of the ones from home was awful. Yeah. So bad. You know, you're not great 100% of the time. Oh, no. I, I mean, I make garbage content, but yeah, I get paid less. <laughs> yeah. 
for making content, that is. You do get paid less than SM cast member, probably. Probably do. Just joining any... Scroll up a little bit, Sean. Turner and Hooch Hanks. Tom Hanks and <laughs> yeah, yeah. Philadelphia. Oh, that's not as good. I don't know. I've never seen that. The ending's a bummer. Oh, I don't want to see it. I don't like sad movies. Let's see all the stuff that you skipped. Mmm, satay chicken. That's the best. Have you seen the new rendering of the 2021 Ford Bronco yet? I have. Well, it's okay. I mean, they've been teasing a Bronco for however long, so at this point, I'm just waiting. Tom Hanks in Toy Story? He was, was Tom, no, but his light year was Tim Allen. He was Woody, wasn't he? Yeah. No. Yeah. Tom Hanks was yeah. Woody. Yeah. And then Tim Allen was Buzz Tim Lightyear. Al yeah. Is that what you just said? Exactly. Tom Hanks went to Sac State. Oh, really? Apparently. I did. Moose Jaw said it. He's a teacher. That's very interesting. I did not know that. You know who said that? Johnny Carson. Josh, is it possible that... The LLHV battery can provide more consistent voltage than a non LIHV version. My light bar flickers and servos under load with regular LiPo, but not LIHV. What is the million? What is the C rating on your lithium high volt versus your lithium non high volt? Have you checked simple things like check making sure your battery connectors are soldered well and in good shape? Things like that as well um, because I don't think the battery chemistry itself is that different the actual chemistry is still a lithium polymer it's just a I believe I'd have to go look exactly but I believe it's just a a version of it that's a little bit more stable at higher voltage or has a higher nominal voltage and then is able to charge and maintain it what do you <laughs> Phoenix said are we still doing this is trash <laughs> are we still doing that I did print, I printed one of my little trash cans. Oh, yeah. There you go. Tiny HD trash can. With lid. Oh. It's a good bearing. Don't throw it away. It's okay. I know a guy. Wasteful. I need the, oh, I guess. Oh, I will need all those screws, but we can keep them all there. Yeah, let's keep together fuck it um da, 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 da. i can't remember how do you make the jig for the links i bought this one. Oh, this one i made yeah this is an axial dog bone so this is a or a wraith stub axle for or s probably ax10 original um but it's just a regular stub axle that i used on the dremel to open up the slot where the dog bone pins would go normally. And then I wrapped it with a little bit of duct tape on the outside and put two O-rings on it. And those are just to keep it from the rod end from sliding out. So. Saber hears you and is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Saber. Uh, where is. The air says I've just started in CAD and I never realized how much time you can waste on it. Eight hours in one sitting. Oh my God. Uh, but the more time you do, the more, the less time it will take you every time afterwards. Like you'll learn more, you'll be faster. You'll just, you'll be able to accomplish whatever you wanted to accomplish so much quicker. Could you build those, but better. Physically impossible to do it better than me. I am the best at building links. When There's you... nobody who's built links better than me ever. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, and I will take that <laughs> screwdriver in your ear hole while you're sleeping, give you a lobotomy. Um, when do you ever actually go crawling? We all see you sitting, building stuff, or talking to a camera about RCs. That's true. 
Um, I've been doing that a lot more during the time when I'm not crawling now because I've been not going to parks that are closed and things like that. But this is literally all he does. So we do go to events and things like that. But like he comes home from work and comes in here and talks to himself. You can hear me usually. I mean, I can hear you. You, you get to hear all the goods early. Yeah, I'm not listening, but. She just has to tell me when she's going to turn on the blender. Yeah. So it's not in the middle of while I'm filming. Did I miss out? What is that attachment in your drill for the rod ends? You did miss out. Rewind. That, that is a modified Wraith stub axle with some duct tape and O-rings. See, duct tape is, wouldn't, wouldn't that, that, it's not a bad tool to have. That's not. Some, the guy, uh, the guy who brought it on Naked and Afraid was a dick, but. Yeah, he, got, he, yeah. We don't know yet. Did we? Did he? Yeah, he left already. Okay. Remember? Because they were going to exile him and. Oh, yeah. And he cried about it. Right. Trash can looks like a drink container. Pretty small drink. It's a shot container. Oh, you could do that. You could do that. Make little, make shots, but that looks like trash can, but got glasses. Take shots of bubbly yeah. water. <laughs> That's all we drink. Um, remove the doors, etc. meant to go up against the Rubicon. Where at? There's got to be a... Did he speak and have one above it? The off-road one looks tough. Oh, he must be the, in the, the Bronco. For the Bronco, sorry. I don't go in order. Customers at work think the TPU trash can is crazy. That's, uh, I think he probably, I think he sent me the, who is that? Toad Daddy. Toad Daddy. Oh, okay. Well, now I know who Toad Daddy is because he sent me a message. So He's now I know, I don't remember real name from a, but yeah, printed a, a trash can out of TPU, which is a flexible 3D printing material. So he had like his little truck on it and it, so it squishes like a real one. Because real trash cans are bendy. Uh, uh, <laughs> you really want to see our friend Mateen got a 3D printer and got wood. wood Filament? Filament. Yes. I want to see what that looks like. Kind of looks like wood. You're dumb. It does. Because it even has a little bit of a grain to it because of the nature of 3D printing. Well, yeah. That's mainly yeah. plastic. Pop. I could totally Play see too much. printing a bunch, a buttload of those trash cans just for bulk screws. That's a good idea. Thank not, you. Not a terrible idea. Um. Almost have to design it with more of a snap lid than a. Yeah. Which you can easily do. Should modify that for a snap lid. Do you dump that trash can into the dumpster? <laughs> <laughs> When I'm done and all of the parts that I don't need anymore, then they can go in the dumpster. What do you think about doing jack stands as this Sunday's 3D printed item? Been wanting to use scale jack stands to display some rigs. There's so many of them already. I mean, yeah. I know there's a lot of trash cans too, but Have you, trash is a special place with it. On... Probably not. Um, he sent you a video. Oh, Saber. Josh, where did you get that scale V8? This is from, oh, well, it's probably this one. Oh. Um, this is by Scale Designs by Mr. Comma D. That's one username. So, uh, or Scale Designs by Comma D, I think, either way. But it's for the VS410 specifically. The servos and the winch servo go right up front. But this is designed perfectly to fit over that. Let me show you. I already have the uh, body post in here, which you should have. What? <laughs> Play too much. <laughs> and I had the wrong spot. Un momento, poor favor. There we go. I got it. I'm not supposed to eat this. You're from who? Who? What? Who told you that? 
your nutritionist. Anyway, there we go. So uh, the screws are in. Nutritionist. Right, like who who told you you're not supposed to eat this? Um, oh. I, <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> if you don't have the motor screws in, this would sit down, and then it perfectly covers the servos, and it sits right down on the front of the chassis, and it looks like you have a V8 in there. Right? Oh, cool. It's like 75 bucks or 60 bucks or something like that. So 75 Canadian. It's like $60 in real money. Okay. I don't think people in the trail side of RC understand how fortunate they are when it comes to bodies until you build a drift car and the bumpers need magnets to the rest of the body, among other things. Fun. See... That's a, but with drift cars. Just talk about it. Here's speaking of lobotomies, the guy who invented lobotomies, who wasn't a doctor, used a, to tour, used to tour the country performing them in a van he called Lobotomobile. Perfect van build idea. <laughs> is that a true story? I imagine that it is because they did lobotomies way before vans were a thing. But is did, it, are you sure? Yeah. I watched a TV show about it. <laughs> Josh just sent you a question on your Harley message on Facebook. I will check it out. Josh, when are you going to build a scale pre-runner? Um, I don't know. I'm not, it's not like my. Okay, Josh, when are you going to build a, or a, we call the rod end tool Josh Fab. Josh Fab. Duct tape is magical. John's tiny truck said, I just started using Fusion 360. It took me four hours to design a body mount for my FJ45, but getting better. Your Sunday videos are helpful. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's good. And like I said, every time it will just be faster and faster and you'll just, you'll be set. So just keep spent, keep wasting as much time doing it as you can. It will pay off in the long run. Totally geeking out about flexible scale trash cans. <laughs> is that? No, that is not an original shirt. That's original 1962 national shirt. From Target. From Target. It is literally from Target. Yeah. We do have, I have quite a few uh, vintage race tees though. Right. Yeah. This is not one of them. That's not one of them. Honestly, I've been, I was like at the drag strip in Pittsburgh, Kansas. And there was like five other people with this same shirt. I see that shirt all the time. Every, every race that I go to, I see that shirt. And I'm like, oh, Target. Target? Target. <laughs> Target. <laughs> this is a really fancy little boutique. Yeah, it's <laughs> Target. It's a hot place to go right now. Get it? Get it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. I know. My bad. Oh, I'm so far behind. It's Teco. What did she say? I don't know. It was so. She said nothing to repeat. I'm telling you. What did you say? <laughs> you better start reading more questions. Get in here. Okay, I apologize. We need to come up with some new jokes. You know, the ones that aren't trash. Oh, dad. Oh, Miss Joss said that. <laughs> um, will a VF410 Ultra fit 33 with no lift? <laughs> Is that funny? That's like a... It's like a common Jeep thing. Everybody who gets a Jeep's like, can I fit 33s with no lift? Oh. It's a, it's Will like, Vanquish ever offer MOA for their vehicles on the performance side? Um, I mean, it's just not really a popular area anymore. So if it becomes popular again, sure. 
because that was a really fun side of the hobby I really enjoyed, but I have to make sure that things are being utilized for what they should be. But I mean, so never say never, but our new kitty will be here. I don't, I just got an email today that she's ready to go. So we will figure that out and we're super excited. If it fits, it ships. <laughs> Then they, they just poke holes in the box. Yeah, medium flat rate and go. Have you seen my baseball? You seen my baseball? Are you going to have the right size servo horns this week? Last week it looked like when I tried to put an SRAM cassette on a Shimano hub. That is that a that's a bicycle fishing? joke. Oh, uh, Shimano makes both oh. fishing and but but yeah. Good day from Blue Mountains, Australia. Whoa. Josh, how many times have you done the walk of shame back to the truck after breaking apart on the rig? In the past? Uh, I mean, tons of times. Any more? Not really. I don't really have to. Anymore. I don't carry many spares with me anymore. I don't. Uh, my <laughs> pro okay. doesn't really let me down. I always wear a Def Leppard shirt I got from Target, and one day this old guy from work wore a Def Leppard shirt. He was like, yeah, kid, mine's a real one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got this odd Amazon order the other day. Anyone know anything about that? <laughs> Remember the razors? Yes. Everyone yes. said that they're, yeah. Yes. Hello, Josh. Do you know a good source for scale decal stickers? Less truck theme, more hunting, fishing, bubba. Oh type decals that's the best descriptor <laughs> ever he wants a oh my god a, uh, that's fantastic browning. that's what he wants yeah. a browning sticker <laughs> that's the best thing <laughs> <laughs> uh you know something like that i i do not have the i don't know i don't do a lot of the those little like scale details like that I guarantee there's a shit ton of people out there yeah, you definitely got to be able to get yourself a scale browning decal or, you know. Scale crushable trash can, but great, but drivers are trash. Scale, yeah. <laughs> Who are you building this for? Um, his name was Rob. He uh, Josh. bought it through our store after I said I would do it on a live build and... So he purchased it from there and I took it home and it was last week or something like that. Daniel Perwire says good evening. Good evening. Hello. I miss the days of MOA. I loved my pimp cane. Pimp cane. My favorite MOA chassis ever, other than my very favorite was the last one that I made and designed. But before that was my uh Beetlejuice V4. Would you recommend Holmes Hobbies or Caterpillar Motors? <laughs> Is that a joke? That's how it's spelled, people. Actually, you know what? Type it into Google and hit the pronounce button because it says caterpillar. It's funny. Oh, Colton's been making scale stickers on his cricket. There you go. Yeah. Josh, considering the Charisma F-150 body for the TRX-4, it seems like a popular option for the Defender chassis length. Um, I've seen the model, but I don't know anything about the charisma bodies or I've never like I've never used it or anything like that. So I don't I don't have an answer for you there. Oh, first time I ever got scammed online was for a cat. Seemed legit and was promoted on Google out 500 bucks. It became apparent when the shipping company that said it would be fifteen hundred dollars more. Yeah. Ooh. This lady is a badass. She's like in her 70s, I think, and she started this breed of the Cheetos and she is the nicest lady ever and she has major issues sending you pictures but um. but she's so great and she loves them and she's wonderful and you know technology challenged she's but, in her 70s yeah but a super nice lady we are buying an exotic pet from a or from wild was it something exotics wild haven exotic wild haven exotics from a lady named carol Can't live in the Ozarks if you ain't got a Browning Heart Bucto decal in the back glass. See, thank you. Exactly. With rack attack across the windshield. And 
or the pink version if you're one of the ladies. The dough. Oh, the dough. Oh, Bucker. Okay, the, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, all the girls have the pink camo ones. That is so true. So why is this a light red tonight? I he had a mood yesterday, apparently, because I like had, he had the door open and all I could see was like red light coming out of it. And I just didn't even come in here and speak to him because I was like, I lights red, lights red tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was I did. I turned it. Yes, I had the lights over on there. I was in here playing video games last night. In so the, that's really why in the dark. Red. No, it wasn't. But the blue was too bright and red isn't as. Wait, maybe you could just not have the light on. I like a little You're bit of light. You're such a psycho. It helps set the mood for me playing video games by myself. Or you know what else? What Don't other... bother me when I'm cleaning my room. <laughs> you know what other stickers that they always have is the no fear one. Oh, yeah. The Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the eyes. Isn't that the no fear one? It's like a pair of eyes. Yes. Yeah. I also miss my SW2 with TLT accents. Oh God. I do not miss those. I don't miss those days. Like I'm, I've said it a million times. I'm not a nostalgic person. And while those days were, you know, revolutionary in making our hobby what it is, those, I, it's one of those things like, we had shit drive shafts. We had terrible choices for parts. We had to get a stampede transmission and then manual, like file it away by hand. So it wasn't the size of a baseball to and fit inside of our chassis. Days. Mark Anthony Marquez says, Hey guys. Hey. What's going on, Mark? Um, how much would you charge me to RC my eight scale static truck? That's custom projects like that is, uh, I, I would, I never would take on just because like you could literally have a hundred hours in that doing it right or the way I would want to do it right. And you could never charge for that. Oh, dear God, no Josh exotic talk. Josh exotic. Josh building a wood flatbed for my trail truck. Unsure of how to mount the rear shocks without putting holes in the bed. Any suggestions? Putting holes in the bed would definitely be my first suggestion. So but if you get proper, so, yes, so if you get proper angles, if not, the, you can go with a cantilever setup. It's not ideal still, but it's not the worst. So maybe that would be the route to go. That bitch, Carol Baskins. I can't wait to see the kitten knocking screws off Josh's desk as he builds. Be heated. Do the incision drive lines for the Capra. You can run the incision drive shafts that are available right now with the, the Capra. PS, those are in stock right now. So. Mood light helps gaming. Uh -huh. Is Josh building rigs for other people? Oh, the new try traded a set of Wraith axles for it. He did have a hard time. <laughs> I can show you the emails. I talked to the gentleman on the phone today. Dave. From Dave. Or what did you say? You had a hard time thinking of his name. Robert. I'm pretty, pretty Rob. Sure. It's like Dan. Okay. I did not, Rob. Are those shafts in phase? They are in phase. Always. I pay very close attention. Yes. Both front and rear. <laughs> in phase. It's it's when you hear the boom chicka wow wow coming from the next room, you should worry. Right here. Babe, I Robert. don't care. I, ah. If you... But yeah. Not that she would, yeah. Care, but. Orlando Diaz says, love your channel. Thank you, Orlando. Thank you. Fox stickers too, but Fox equals Walmart of motocross gear, yeah. Are those shafts in phase? You just read that. Did I? Yeah. Oh. Has everyone clicked like? Thank you, poor man. Hey, Josh, it's my wife's birthday, but she just went to bed, so I'm trying to catch up on the video. Super fun watching you do your magic. Thanks a million for the build. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to your sleeping wife. Yeah. Can you change your intro music? You can have some funky music, and you'll turn around with a king cape and be like, hell yeah, I'm jo Josh Exotic, the crawler king. 
No. Uh, I actually, for Halloween, I just told him that I want to go as Joe Exotic and him and our two gay besties can go as the, my three husbands, except for the only difference that would be that only one of them was straight. So. <laughs> yeah, rather than. Is that mine? Yeah, here's your watch. Unless it's your watch picking up my phone. No. Now. I'm on my way. GPS says 10 minutes. Sometimes I get the most random texts from DoorDashers. DoorDashers? Door dashing through the snow? I don't know if he thinks if that was like. He's just giving you an FYI. Like, hey, put on pants if needed. No, leave it at my door. I always tell him to drive safe. <laughs> you, tell the, you tell door dashers to drive safe and you tell the Alexa thank you. You have to tell Alexa thank you. You do not. You do. That's rude. Just rude. Have you tried the long left click hold on Fusion 360? It opens up a window for editing. What? You mean long right? When? Yeah, yeah, long right click. Um, so yeah, my problem is, is that I'm so much more comfortable in SolidWorks than I am in Fusion. So uh, SolidWorks has a similar tree style and I'm so like, the commands are so ingrained in me for one way that I have a hard time trying to make it second nature to use that one in Fusion. So I haven't, um, but I'm a big fan of doing that in SolidWorks. So I, uh, you know, if you're new, I would definitely try and get in that habit. <laughs> he texted me back and said, drive fast. Got it. LOL. And I said, no rush. Smiley face. Jesus. No. <laughs> the most in depth. <laughs> just polite. You're so polite. And nice. So they're, nice. They're just, you know. It's too bad your polite twang doesn't come across in your text. At some point, don't know when you will receive an envelope containing cash with only a few words written on it. Friday night build. You picked a rig, Axel or VP rig. You <laughs> for the his for his wife running it. If you send an envelope full of cash, trust and believe it is not going into an RC. <laughs> Of course it would. Sorry. If I can help another Did human you get into a VP rig. Uh, you should have got a tracking it. number. <laughs> Certified mail. <laughs> have you seen the RC four wheel drive international and scout emblems for the vanquish? I have. They're made by uh, CC hand and they're actually, they're done really well. The, the emblems all look great. It's one of those ones that, they can do that because they're in China and they can make it for our trucks, which is great. So, and thanks to our full drive for bringing them into the United States. <laughs> <laughs> we would like to do that, but there's like copyright laws and so stuff. Just got my son the Gen 8 today and I got one for my birthday. <laughs> and also by the way, got my in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Um, my son does DoorDash. He's been killing it lately. I bet. I bet. Um, I thought I was the only one who thinks Alexa. We're gonna clean up and get ready for my drunken noodles. Rather than getting into the next step. How much do you want to bet that I forget I put all of these screws in a trash can? And then I knock over the trash can and yell bad words at you. At me? Probably not. Probably not. Probably won't. Just kidding. External BEC with a Holmes BRXL ESC and a 555 Torque Servo recommended. Uh, what ESC did it say? B. BRXL, yeah. Uh, well, five, five. Yeah, I would, I would try to. The BRXL is based on the previous Mamba Max Pro, um, and that one only had uh, 
That one had an okay B. Well, maybe the BRXL had a beefier BEC. Don't remember now. I can't remember. Always safest to go with a with a BEC though. So yeah. I opened up two bags of the bearings by accident, so I have like all kinds of extra bearings. But I have all the I have all the bearings from the kit left over anyway, so because of the fast steady bearing kit we used. That I was like, are you serious? Because I make... was leaving, and then Eddie was like, oh, hey, Joshua needs a Vanquish Ultra kit. And I was like, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Um, Could you look at this, please? Sure. Where? Just no, don't you. I just have to go. I need a mucinex. I can't breathe. You're a liar. Yes. Uh, what is the big silver thing on the bottom shelf below the dumpster? The big silver thing is a hood from the Ripper. It was a Blem one. So, this one, it was one that didn't meet. And it was way too thin. Um, in a couple of areas, so it wouldn't have wouldn't have been the right. Oh, sorry. Actually, this one had uh, got ripped through in the mounting hole. So, oh, you did. Okay, you weren't lying. So, but this is what one of the hoods looks like basically before it's plated. So, it starts out as a it's a seven or a nine pound block, and then it turns into this super thin machine from both sides. It's super fine step over, so it all looks like this is just right off the machine, and it looks this good. And then on the back side, it's got a higher step over, so you can see, you can see the mill lines a little bit more, but because it's on the underside. But it's like the coolest wall art you could ever have. So that's what that is. What do you mean by ha the drive shafts in phase? Uh, so phasing a universal joint means that you match up, you know, a universal joint is like a C on one side and a C on the other. Well, by the nature of how a universal joint spins, it's not a... Con Stop there. Oh, weird. You spilled it again. The way the universal joint spins, it spins at different speeds because of just the, the geometry of it. So as it spins, it's slow here and then fast up top and slow, fast, slow, fast. So you need to match one side of the drive shaft that goes like this. And then the other side needs to be like, you know, the, the other way so that the drive shaft end pieces that the C's are the same way. Because then what happens is you're supposed to have your angles the same at the transmission and at the axle. And if you have that all in phase, that slow, fast, slow, fast movement of a universal joint will counteract at the other end and you'll end up with a completely smooth output. That's what that means. I got to say all that because she wasn't here to be like, okay, I'm done. I'm bored. What's the next question? And now I'm watching the replay of me doing like this. And it looks like I'm dancing or something. Egypt, walk like an Egyptian. Walk like an Egypt. Fast Eddie's in Sacramento area too. Yes. Yes, he is. Otherwise it would be a lot longer commute for my wife. Yeah. That wouldn't be very convenient. Any recommendations for a servo with a low stall amperage? Okay for high pitch. Low stall amperage. Um, any recommendations with a low stall amperage? Wouldn't you want a high stall? Like it doesn't stall until a high. Maybe I'm misreading the question. I guess that's not a that's not a way I've I've had that question formed before. So. I don't 100% know what you're asking. I apologize. If you could wake up. Well, <laughs> she's mooning me from. You did it. If you could wake up tomorrow with the ability to speak any language, what would it be? I mean, Spanish would be the one that I would be able to use every day. So I have, I would want to say that. But Mandarin would be like the, the one that I would 
want to be able to. That's more weird just so we could speak to our they in-laws, even though they pretty much speak English. Exactly. I, so it'd still be Spanish or Mandarin. Yeah, Mandarin would be awesome. Except for the best thing about not knowing that is that Vivian can count things and I can count things because she speaks. Oh, because she speaks natively or she counts in her head in, in her yeah in Mandarin. In Mandarin and so she can count things out and I can count things out and we don't mess each other up. So that's good. That's such a weird thing to like like we can both count and not mess each other up. I mean I get it. But you can't keep like, you guys it's just funny that you both count out loud. I have to count things too, but I just been. I don't know. That's weird. How much is the car you're building? The retail on this is eight twenty nine. When all said and done, of course, there's a lot more to it than what we ended with here. It comes with wheels, tires, body, bumpers, details, etc., etc., so on and so forth. But. We're cutting it early so that Nicole can have her Thai food. Yeah, and um, yeah. And it's her anniversary and or our anniversary and her birthday week. Yeah, see, Eddie got us a car. Oh, yeah. Look. I, he got you a card. I didn't get you a card. But I didn't get you a card either. That's good. I think I had to tell you what day our anniversary was on. Oh, I know. Cindy sent me a message today and said happy anniversary. And I was like, we saw, we saw, thought it was two days ago. <laughs> it was two days ago. No, I had to look though. <laughs> um, Josh, you should sell the kits you build so you can start funds for Nicole's robotic litter box. <laughs> oh shit, it jumped. Is it movie talk time? Uh, does Fast Eddie's have a storefront? No, but if you're in the Sacramento area, RC Country has a ton of them on the wall. You could shout out random stuff in Mandarin like Captain Malt. I don't know who that is. I do. There's a guy in New York City. He's got a uh, a channel on YouTube that I watch all the time, fairly regularly. He is just a very white guy, but he speaks fluent Mandarin. So he goes into places like authentic Chinese style reference and like nail salons. And he's like a YouTuber. So he's got a camera and he like goes in to like get a manicure done and like sets the camera there. And he like just has his hands and they like the ladies start talking back and forth and he'll subtitle it. And then all of a sudden he'll just like start, but he'll like initially talk to them. And, and then they start talking about like, why is this weird dude coming in here to get a manicure and filming? Yeah. That's but then he's, then he'll like start talking to him and they're like, oh, and they'll do like a zoom in on their face. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. You know. <laughs> so good. He uses a 360 camera so he can get, it's always filming all around. It's really good. How's that work? It's just all software. It's pretty cool. How is it software? The lens doesn't, th I don't want to worry about it. I, lo I love how you ask questions, but this, yeah, I've never had Because I know it's going to be some super long explanation and I just don't, I just like, I would like to have just a easy. It's two lenses that are very wide and then software stitches it all together. Thank you. That, see, you That's were, what I was going to. No, you were going to go into some big ass thing. Wasn't. It was going to be that. Huh? And then in the software, you can actually take and like, yeah. just make it look at the area you want. They say happy anniversary, though. She says thanks. Perfect timing. Our food is here. <laughs> what? Um, I know what you're talking about, and I've seen that exact episode. It's so good. I can't remember what the guy's channel is, but it's just Google white guy speaks Chinese. Um, Josh shock upgrade recommendation for UMG six by six around a hundred dollars. Ooh. So that means you gotta be at $33 a pair since you need three of them. Um, that's a tough one for 33 bucks. Traxxas big bore might be your best bet at that price range. 
Or no. Yeah, that might that might be about your best bet. Um suggestion for Wednesday's live takeover guest, Chris from GCM Racing. Matt and I talked about that. Exact because yes, Chris from GCM would be a great one. He's got a YouTube channel as well, and I've met Chris and Dana both, and both awesome guys, super talented. And is our food ready? All right, that's it then. She's making us quit. Good night. Good night, appreciate it. Have a good weekend. Yes. Be kind to your Alexas. <laughs> <laughs> And others around you. And other robotic assistants. <laughs> Door dasher. <laughs> um, that's it. We're done. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. See you next time. Later.